more like Metroid Head. Hi, I'm. This is that wasn't anything. <laughs> Bloom's here. Do we want to keep talking about the stuff we were talking about before, or is that like a secret? I think I think it's fun to keep secrets off stream. Okay, yeah. I'm just. It's, I'm thinking like, is this one of those Biggie Smalls Bloody Mary? Uh, the devil situation, which is like such a <laughs> fun list of people. <laughs> if you if you if you look in the mirror and you say, "I'm not gonna say it," three times, uh, all of the web you're the main character of all the bad websites for a day. Oh my god. Uh, the thing is about using my broken nintendo switch um is that the it all it takes fucking forever to load any, yeah. anything anyway so you know let's enjoy the loading screen i i mean like i'm feeling it you look at a loading screen you think hey we started this stream at literal midnight what were we thinking that's okay <laughs> We're here to have fun. We're here to have Facebook funny moments. I'm gonna announce it in my Discord. <laughs> um, so you know. The fun part about internet is you're not supposed to talk about internet. Um, hi, I'm Tyler Durden. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really want like a reinterpretation of that movie where Tyler is just like, a very strong but very dainty little femboy. <laughs> Holy shit. Cause, so like, you just want Azazel as the main character. Wow, okay, yeah. I guess we all have headmates, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh yeah, me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tyler Durden. I'm, I'm Tyler just Durden talking was... about... Tyler Durden was... Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just gonna say that Tyler Durden is Ramona Flowers for uh, plural people. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Wait, we're back here? Oh no. <gasps> Did I not save the last time I played this? Hold on. Oh no. How do you go back to like the, the main menu? I'm on TV. You're on TV, yeah. I'm I on TV. couldn't be fucked. My brain's turned into mush. Uh, I gotta just reset the console. Hold on. Uh, nobody pay attention to my mouse on the screen. That's not there. I'm not. I'm not clicking on anything. Just. Uh, this is normal. It's an overlay. Yeah, this is an overlay. Uh, Streamlabs made this for me. And then some uninterrupted silence so that they can pause people's Exhibit A on time. <laughs> and we're good. Okay. I think what I did, yeah, I picked the wrong save file. I'm not gonna lie, I can't hear shit. You I'm can't, very laggy. You can't hear me or you can't hear the the game. What are you saying? Hello? <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I'm very curious how that... Man, I've never been on the other side of that before. <laughs> Hello? No. Ratty speaking. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello? Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Can you hear me? Oh my god. <laughs> well, okay, describe the sensations you were having just now. You literally were just like, uh, yay. <laughs> that's and that's it. That was the whole deal. You know what? I bet I can, t I bet I can figure out why that is. Yeah, I had the <laughs> that was wrong like the microphone selected. No, I, that was on my end. That was like really bad connection for a while there. You were on the right microphone. Don't still... worry, I've got the correct microphone selected. <laughs> this one's not the right one, honey. Don't worry, everyone. The correct microphone 
<laughs> this is not the correct one. This is not? No. Sam ass. Do so interdestin. Um I don't remember wow, this so this is what it's like being a cute little stoner GF. Um I don't know Sometimes, what yeah. I was supposed to do. I don't remember. Hi. I'm You forgot. I'm, I'm Ratchet Vermington. And I forgot Shh, be quiet. If you're cute. Um, and I forgot what we were supposed to do in this game, Metroid Dread. I mean, you like, obviously you're supposed to... Oh shit, it's like a cool... It's like a, it's like a cool, like, you know, one of those, like, special... No, that's not one of those. You know, but you go into, like, a Metroid game and you're like, whoa, here's a... This... What's this guy gonna give me? Oh, this is a full refill, that's nice. Can I... I think that the last thing I remember you doing is the um, the thermal fuel like redirection. Oh, I, that was ages ago. Now I have no oh, okay. idea. Yeah, I don't know where we are. Uh, the last. What did we just do? Phantom cloak. Oh, that's right. So, what does the phantom cloak let you do besides go invisible? Huh? And what button is it? I think it's click your stick. You're right, what a weird button for that to be. So wait, if I go in here, am I supposed to like, no. Okay, sometimes, it, sometimes they have weird things. It's like, this plant can see you so that it's just like a, a door you can't open, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What the fuck? Oh my god, I didn't realize that would be there. That's so cool. I like Metroid a lot. So this is- is this something you've known about me? Guess what something I've known? Uh, that I'm a big funny Metroid girl. Yes. How long- okay, because I don't really make this clear about myself. Like, well, I don't know. It's not like one of my main character traits. What you you made it very clear as soon as this game came out. I guess that's true, yeah. I kind of kind of did do that one. I kind of just was like... I just had a personality out of nowhere, and that was fun. Because I normally <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. That's a little rude to yourself. Well, what would you say then? That I'm fucking... I would say that I discovered something new about your personality that's very, very adorable. I don't have a personality. Come on. I'm American Psycho you Part 2. You literally two. run a talk show. I don't know what you're talking about. That's supposed... You're supposed to be like a personality vacuum if you run a talk show. If anything, that's an insult. You have so much personality on your talk show. Have you ever noticed no one actually likes Jimmy Fallon? Except for Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be planet, 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 and I don't want that. Uh, so I'm not gonna use that door. There's like a redirect switch somewhere. Oh, that's right. Okay, now I can go. Bloom, 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 bloom. I like that she sort of, she walks very slowly when she's invisible. It's kind of fun, you know. Yeah. This, like, silverfish dude up here is not coming for me. Okay. Oh, did you adjust my microphone volume since I, uh, fixed it? Oh. No, I didn't. Uh, what's the- what are the levels like, everybody? I know that I'm probably blowing out a little bit then. Yeah, And I definitely. don't want to do that. Fuck. Well, you could have picked a better time to tell me about this. I'm- Getting oh fucked god, my connection way. is dipping again. <laughs> I'm having a fucking Metroid dreadful time with this crab monster. Alright, hold on. I gotta bring that volume down. There we go. Like to 150. Alright, check one. Testing, testing, hello? Yes, that's much better. Do you like the cool, like, dynamic lighting effects that are on me? I think they're yes. cool. I like them a lot. Thank you. It really makes you feel like you're in the Metroid, you know? 
You really have in some of the dread. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. You can like zip line now. But like a really slow, boring zip. Why'd they make it that slow? It seems. It's, I believe, only that slow across the roof. Why though? I don't know. <gasps> we did it. We found the pump station. Yo! <gasps> All right, I guess we're moving on. I'm reacting to all these things a second late, by the way. Oh, do you want, here, let me try and, let me fix that for you. Virtual camera. I can't tell if I'm louder than you or not. I feel like this is a me issue. This may be a you issue. I think it's fine. This is a cool Just... PNG for a loading screen though. Yeah, I actually really like this loading screen animation. Yeah, it's a good thing, because we're going to be seeing a lot of it. <laughs> so, uh, um, you know. Mm -hmm. Turn on camera. OBS virtual camera. Turn on camera. Okay, now you can see. Yeah. We're at Katara's Hug. now. We did so good. I hope I didn't miss any of those mushroom tanks. Mushroom tanks? What do I mean? Missile... Missile... What do you what do you call like a holder for missiles? Come on. The missile tank. No, you can't. It's not a tank. It's they put it in like a holster or something. Like you, you never. Pod? First of all, okay. So like, remember uh, that tanks exist, like World of Tanks and like the Panzers and the anime girls that uh, have friends, but are also like <laughs> yes. tanks. Oh my God! I'm being blocked in here. You're being blocked by every account. Block every- oh my god, I can't talk about block every account right now. Why are you so mean to me? Oh. What do you mean? Oh, hole. I didn't realize there was hole there. <laughs> Imagine. No, wait. There's hole. This is going backwards, okay. Is it? I didn't see it on the map. No, Am but I, I recognize- the I love this is these a different room. big Metroid machines that are like anything could be going on inside that box, but it probably has something to do with lava. Do you remember that it used to be a, a meme on like the what's the hentai alternative board? I have no idea. You okay, you don't? That's cool. I just realized that I'm fucking so weird and strange. Whoops. No, wait, which one are you talking about? I don't, like, there's like three. I think it's the one literally called hentai slash alternative. Oh my god. So there I was- I haven't heard that name in years. <laughs> there was this meme on that board where it's, someone would post- Yeah, slash D, that was it. Um, someone would post uh, on that board a picture of a woman with her entirely inside a box and her two feet are sticking out and there's like some <laughs> exclamation points coming from it and the and the poster was like anything could be going on inside that box every time <laughs> Kate Yagi it's funny you skipped a couple letters of the alphabet there bud oh shit cutscene so yeah what was it? Oh yeah, anything could be going in, on inside that box. It's not even like it's not safe for work. It just kind of implies something. Hold on. It implies a lot of things about that box. The extreme need of the lava is too much for it. Under no circumstances should you enter high temperature areas. This is the box. We're all in Schrodinger's box now. <laughs> I know the shuttle somewhere above the earth. Use it to find the path forward. There is one other thing to discuss. The phantom flow God. the enemy from detecting you. Thus far, there's no that using the fan the phantom the phantom flow.
I thought that was a different item. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. The baby was definitely a game. The baby was definitely a video game. All I remember is the baby, the baby, the baby, and that's it. <laughs> Hashtag true. Um. Schrodinger's box and the experiment it was trying to conduct was, we don't know if that cat's alive in there. Because it's inside the box. And I have no way of monitoring it. Therefore, object permanence, basically. And reverse Schrodinger's box is uh, being suggested as <laughs> everyone outside the box is both alive and dead at the same time, we cannot confirm. So, yeah. Do cats have object permanence? I think they do. Ready, I think you muted yourself on stream. <laughs> I think you. I think you've selected the wrong microphone. I did it. It's okay. We're back. Okay, cool. That's okay. That was only a little bit, so we're all good. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Samus. gonna adjust my volume a little bit. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, I was talking about. You were asking me like, do cats have object permanence? I'm telling you, cats can walk into the same room twice and think it's a different room. Like they don't have that even. I mean, they can, but I don't think that that's the default. That is the default. No, that is. Because they, what it is, is they did an experiment where they had a room with two doors connected to another room, and they got the cat to go through the left door, and the cat was like, this is one room. They got the cat to go through the right door, and the cat was like, this is a different room. Oh, I love that. I love the Metroid... You're not allowed to go back from here, drop. That's so fun. Oh, hey. Classic Metroid. Classic. Classic. 
we all have very similar senses in humor sometimes, and it's weird how they intersect. Who? Uh, our system. Yeah. It. The fact like, that you have I, a sense of humor at all is kind of funny to me. I, Just like, you know. As a robot. <laughs> Wait, was that like that was that robophobia? Let's talk about this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, what are you sad now? Don't be sad. No, I'm not sad. Okay. <laughs> Good. Because if you're sad, I just don't I'll know kick how you in the ass. People, this conversation applies to. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my God, this one's green. Well, that was a pretty convenient way of telling me that the invisibility cloak makes me invisible. Oh, I love Emmys so much. Yeah, they're pretty sexy. I love Emmys so Zoom. much. Hmm, I was just using my invisibility cloak, but my energy is at full power? Suspicious. Hope someone got fired for that blunder. While the Phantom Cloak is activated, Emmy cannot see- Yeah, I just saw a whole cutscene that explained that you can't see me when I'm invisible. <laughs> what do you mean? Is is invisibility now like that far out of cultural significance that they have to explain it like I'm a five year old? When you turn I mean, invisible, they gotta make sure for people who aren't paying attention for the most part, or people who can't like see it that well. No, but it's like invisibility, like if, like for real. Is it really like a, a whole thing to have justice about? That, the, it, you know, you invisibility makes you invisible. <laughs> anyway, I died. You Hi. did die. Hello. 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 Yeah, uh, how Maybe would they we should see... stop. <laughs> stop what? <laughs> we were doing a thing for a sec there. What was I doing? No, not. I didn't say you. Who did what? Oh. Did Metroid do something? No, we, we, we were just helloing back and forth for a second there. Oh. That's funny, because I completely didn't hear any of that. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, dog. I didn't... Did I say... Did I hello at you? You did. Okay, I'll have to, I have to take your word for that. <laughs> I don't have memories. Oh, fuck. I literally dropped right down into its loving embrace. Very loving. Damn. I gotta, I gotta fucking, I gotta focus on these robots because I'm gonna get a headache. If I keep dying, I'm gonna be like, I'm so sad, I'm not good at Metroid. Um, Hot take, there's no such thing as being good at single player games. Speedrunners are pretty good. No? Thank you. Oh, you fuck. Oh, you fuck. Oh, I didn't know we could do that. I just have to guess, basically. I'm not seeing any, any fucking frame. My broken Nintendo Switch only shows me 20 of the 30 frames that are required to uh, play this video game. So I'm, n I'm just guessing at the timing every single time. I think if you see the Emmy, then it would be good to just simply walk away. Well, I have to go this. This is the way forward. Yeah, but like, you have invis now. Oh, that's true. Oh my fucking god. Nope. Well, oh wait, I got it that time. Oh, you have to get both of them? What the fuck? Yeah. That's stupid. Okay, well, I don't like that. Does, they kind of do later, like, do later versions of this boss not do that? That's going to make things so much harder. Okay. Well, the thing is, is I like to save my resources, but I guess... Your energy is literally infinite in this game. No, it's not. I can see it going down right now. 
Like, no, like, you don't have to worry about wasting it because it will literally always come back. Oh my god. I have never seen it do that before. Dang. I love that. So, all right, get the, you're, you're an expert on, uh, what's, like, the PC term? I know it's not a robot. Um, Wait. Like, I know that's the big slur. What's the, what's, what's oh the my god. not slur for robots? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I just personally prefer drone. <laughs> so what's the, what's the drone population's opinion on this robot? Oh my god. On this drone. Oh my god, I've backed myself into a fucking corner. It's going away, you can, you, you're chill. You're fine. Well, now this is the problem. I've put myself down to 14 health. Because I didn't know that my energy doesn't recharge proper. My goodness. Oh, it went away. So now I can go up. Up? Oh, wait, no. That's only a hole for it. That's its hole. Oop. Okay. Might have gone the wrong way. Not yet. Now we have a decision to make. Go this way. No. Go this way. Oh, fuck. Oh. Well, being invisible is not. Yeah. It's about to say. This is not a problem that's going to be solved by. Well, I can get back this way now. Let's keep moving forward, though, and I'll see where I can't get some help. I will say that I, I just like I don't know how many people are going to understand the conversation <laughs> that you and I are having at the moment. What the drone conversation? Yeah. Who cares? It's my show. I guess that's her. If people don't want to tune in to hear about drones and shit, <laughs> don't. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Some of my best friends are robots. I mean, you know. Listen. <laughs> it's not a it's not a real slur, let's be honest here. Well you you're correct. <laughs> Make me invisible. Oh my god! I believe you can still jump around while you're in invis too. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to. That's fair. Because, like, I, when I'm invisible, I want to be quiet, and so... I don't think you make noise, though. Do you, like, not at all? I don't think you do. Whoa, this is exactly what I needed. Thank you. No, wait. No, it wasn't. I thought this was, like, a cool energy room. This was just a lava room. Yeah. And I gotta still go- oh, well, there's a save point, so at least I'll come back at 14 health. I mean, that is a save point. That's all you can really ask for. That is all you can really ask for. Do I get anything back? Nope, still at 14. So I hope everyone is used- oh my god, and there's a fucking thing right here I could've used. Well, we'll just- I, instead of going back and resaving, I'll just use that every time I die. You can just go back and resave literally right now already? No. I'm not going Okay. To. I literally- this is your toy. I told you I wasn't going to and you were like, do it. And I said, no! <laughs> so we're- we've, This is politics, basically. This is a very American style of politics. Ah, uh, you know what they say. There's only one kind of politics. American. Um, so we can't go this way because it's too hot. Can't go that way because there's no door. But I am supposed to be going this way because of my... So maybe... No, but there's even lava there, so it's like not... I'm definitely not supposed to go that direction. Maybe if I shoot up? Hmm. 
Welcome to Metroid, everybody. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those Metroid dread ends. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. <laughs> Can I re redirect the lava flow, maybe? Like, turn it. If I could turn back time. Where is it? It's here, right? Nope. Oh, fuck. These little guys are fucking cool. I feel like I want to eat one of them, you know? Tastes like guacamole or a pistachio or some shit. I think I want to eat one of those tiny aliens. Hey. <laughs> I think... No, I can't go this way. Why am I being silly? I'm being a gosh darn silly face. Um... Sometimes I do wish I was gay. You wish you were gay? Because I have been faking this whole time for attention. That's uh, literally not true. <laughs> I mean, you know. What what counts is okay, what counts? Because I feel like I'm definitely on the border. I feel like I just don't care, and so I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, whatever, I'll be gay. That's a way to be gay. That's very like normal. I, it's just like I just enjoyed I just enjoy intimacy with other people, and it's like, okay, if it's gonna be gay, then sick, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't have a- I'm bisexual, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's okay to- it's okay to be gay in that way. Um, thanks for the rhyme. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try and do what I said before, which was follow this pipe. The pipe kind of helps you find where you've redirect- okay, yeah. So this is moving forward. I, d I still don't think so. Hi, I'm Maddie Girlmeat, the gay homophobe. <laughs> this Go. is how I left the left. <laughs> this is how I left the left. I, w I used to be a card carrying leftist. I mean, really, <laughs> the whole thing. I even went to a couple of protests. But then, one time, I went to a Trump rally just to troll it, you know? Put up some signs, say Donald Trump is bad. And then, the craziest thing happened to me. These people, who CNN showed as monsters, they welcomed me in with open arms. Like a cult. <laughs> um... <laughs> They looked at me and they said, we don't care about your political opinions. We don't care about, you know, whether or not you feel a certain way. We just care about, you know, making this country a really good place to be. You know what I mean? Anyway. You're very silly. I'm glad I'm your friend. Yeah, because if you weren't, we'd be enemies. We'd be enemies. What yeah, is the implication here? We'd like, be enemies. Like enemies, like D colon or enemies as in like angry cat face. What, D col what? Capital D colon. Capital D. Oh, like a big frown. Okay. Yeah, like like the like this. I put it in chat. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm understanding now. Uh, like, like the like cat face. Okay. We'd be like so we'd, cute. So we'd just be gay little enemies doing gay little evil at yep. each other. Yep, yep, yep. I'd like, uh, like get like a one of those tables that's got like a laser beam to cut you in half on it. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Oh, hey, another one of these. You know, just like, just fun gay little enemy stuff. We could still be enemies. Do you, you, you could like, put a, put a, I could pretend like, oh, I don't want this drone helmet. And you could be like, haha, now you're, what, you know. It would be like black like me, but, oh, that wasn't funny. <laughs> so you remember the book Black Like Me? No. Okay. So, okay, I have to preface this by saying that the Simpsons did an episode called Brick Like Me, 
where they were racist to Lego. So, I, I'm, I'm not. I've, there's no way in history that I could be the most problematic reading of uh, Black Like Me. Uh, so, okay. Black Like Me is a story written by this white journalist where uh, oh god, okay. Black Like Me is this story written by a white journalist uh, who in like fucking 50 something dyed his skin black so that he could like research the the experience of of being black basically i see and I... <laughs> and the reason i brought that up ah uh, you know what i'm like playing back what i just said to myself and i'm like I'm gonna stop talking about black like me. <laughs> but like, okay, here's not. the thing. The journalist who dyed his skin black is the butt of the joke, not, you know, yeah. racism in the American South. <laughs> no, I, I figured after you said that. You know, it's just- There are some people who just will not assume good faith of you. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want that to happen. So yeah, but it would be like Black Like Me, because I would be a robot, but not really. And that's you why I brought up that, that whole book. What? A ship of Theseus experience. What? Why do they call it that? What? What in the world have I walked into? <laughs> why are you, like, just fucking stream bombing me? What's a ship because of Theseus experience? The ship of Theseus is, um is i don't know how to talk about it outside of it as a concept of if the ship of theseus is completely destroyed save one plank but is rebuilt from the ground up is it still the ship of theseus yeah okay then how is that at all like black like me and being robot robotified <laughs> because it would be a ship of theseus experience for you making you into a robot Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Okay, you were flirting with me. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize. It's so fun when, you know. You know. Why is it called a semicolon if it's literally more ink than a colon? Because no one uses ink anymore, you old ass lady. What do you mean? <laughs> Let me just go to the typewriter store and buy some ink. Damn it. By the way, I figure I should explain myself. I'm stream bombing you because you asked me if I wanted to be on uh, the stream I f well, earlier. I guess that's true, yeah. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's put you on this stream. Give me your OBS Ninja right now, bitch. Okay. Give me a half a second. We're going to have to figure out something else to do with Bloom. What do you mean? Oh, really? Not really. Bloom, I can be a map. I'm gonna cut your head off. Please don't. Oh no! And put you flying around my head like a little Zelda fairy. No, Does that sound good? I don't think you should. Does that sound I think good? You could just make me your map. I think that would be a lot cuter. Do we can we can keep we can keep them on the on the television, and then I could just be like a a permanent dialogue box. Okay, that's fine. Once. My OBS stops crashing when I launch it. I like the headless idea. Please do not cut off my head. It'll, it'll be fine. You don't even have a neck. Like, there's nothing to cut. I just, like, pull it until the magnet's disengaged. I don't want wow. that. <laughs> so, okay, what, 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 where is your personality in your body? Do you, is your brain in your head? Or if I remove the head does your head just go like whoop and it no longer is puppeteering itself That's classified information sweetheart uh-huh sure yeah for real all right well i'm gonna find out one way or another <laughs> oh really everyone okay. forgets that i'm a journalist <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not like a bad one either <laughs> You're really not, but I'm also just letting you know what you're getting into trying to ask that question. Oh, also, whatever. You're... What are they going to do? Fucking decapitate me? Yeah, sure. What 
they gonna do? Fucking put me on CNN again? Like, it's not... <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, it man. may not exactly be, um... An Angel Corp project or anything, but... No, yeah. I'm not saying it, it, anything. It, you just might... I, I don't want to involve you. <laughs> Why not? I'm fucking... Story of the century. Oh fuck, I forgot. No, and this is a dick move too, Nintendo. You know that. Nintendo, this is a dick move. <laughs> Look at them. I love them. I feel like this robo. What pronouns does this robot have in your mind? They it. Pretty good. Top tier pronouns. Man, how did it do that? No, for real, fuck you. <laughs> oh, I even got the first button prompt. All right, fuck that. What the hell? I was hanging from the ceiling making no noise and it was suddenly like, mm, I wanna go up here now. Fuck that, I hate Metroid. This is the worst game franchise ever made. No, you don't. You don't mean that. I wanna kill every Metroid. They're already dead, sweetheart. It is also kind of what you're supposed to do, which is fun. Sort of like a fun joke that I was doing. Uh, nope, I'm not going to fucking. This is the stupidest door. I hate this. So the speed doors are fun. The slow doors, why? I don't, I'm not a big fan I... of these one way doors either. I have my ninja. Okay, send it to me. I have. Oh, okay. Good. Sick. Check this out. OBS. I'm in. gay. You're, you are gay. Tell me about the gay feelings that you're having. I'm just gay. I'm not. I feel, I feel like yeah, you're very obviously gay. No, 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 no. I'm really not. It, you're incredibly gay, actually. I'm gonna put hoot wheels over top of you and we'll just pretend you're not on this stream. That would be very mean. Uh, hoot, you gotta send me that fucking, those CRT lines when we're done here, because I wanna see, I wanna use them. What the fuck? My, Chroma my key's working, gone. Chroma key's working backwards again. <laughs> Holy moly. Here we go. Whoop. Okay. That's kind of funny. There's just nothing of you. <laughs> there is it's my face. Yeah, there we go. My face. Okay. Yes. Yeah, there we go. You put you down here so people. Well, I'll put you. I'll tell you what. I'll put you up above my head so it's like I'm thinking of you. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Or like here. I like this corner actually. It's like you're like a heads-up display element, which is fun. Yeah. I'm your, I'm your little helper. Oh yeah. So tell me tell me what to do on the mission, helper. Uh. Um. I've never played a Metroid. You've I never can't help you here. not even a single one. Not even a single one. Not even Prime. Not even Metroid Pinball. No. I have played Pokemon Pinball, but that's also the only Pokemon I've played. Like Smokemon Spinball. Whoa! We found a new place. Hey. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Don't Once, shoot the butterflies. Be nice to them. Some of them are dangerous. You touch them and it's like, oh, we got you. A little you into full sense of security, you dumb, stupid baby. You fucking idiot. You thought you saw some butterflies and you thought you were safe? Fuck no. Shut your stupid mouth, you idiot. <laughs> you know? <Toxic. laughs> I'm a toxic fan of this game. I'm, I'm, this is what they're talking about when they say Twitch has gotten too toxic. It's me. Is this an elevator? What does this icon mean? I really prefer when they have icons that just like, are like color coded, you know? Makes mm -hmm. the map look cool and also, you know. I can't tell what the difference between these symbols is. Like what kind of bird person is the, 
is the save icon and which one is the you know this or that i don't know anyway mm -hmm. like look at this let's talk about this let's zoom in is this is some triangles this is some triangles that's a circle so i mean fuck we're really shaking it up that's a that's a triangle that's a triangular bird person like come on what does this mean i think you missed a meat wall a meat wall yeah there was a meat wall a wall made out of meat? Yeah, if you go up. Go up from here. Yeah. Back to where you. you oh, right hey! There. That's a funny name for it. Oh, but it goes into hot. Oh, it's hot. Why did you do this to me? I didn't know. I Why saw did a you... meat wall. I wanted to call it out. Why did you choose to hurt me? Meat wall. <laughs> no! I don't want to see you walk. Meat wall. Anyway. The fucking that's the worst song to ever get stuck in my head is the is the hot dog song from the Simpsons where like Homer Homer meets like a Louisiana blues singer who's also his long lost uncle and he runs a hot dog cart and they like have the, the they're like it's like Lisa's substitute but for Homer and also like as exactly as bad as that sounds <laughs> except they did do lisa's substitute for homer they did the one where homer gets hair and he has that effeminate gay man to hype him up all the time and he sounds like a drag queen mr simpson you know <laughs> oh mr simpson you know do you remember what's your favorite episode of the simpsons i have watched literally none of them Wow, that's fun. Good for you. I feel like I'm living a better life for it. Really? People keep telling me that show is very bad. There, there's. I actually really like it personally. I like some of the earlier seasons, is I guess what I'll say. Oh, you know what? He can definitely shoot through walls, of course. Why not? That's a good thing they put him in an environment that taught me that. Uh, because... Good. Oh, that was pretty fucking skilled, though. This is gonna go into the same hot, but I just want to make sure it's yeah. Okay, we've now unlocked both entrances to that hot and meat wall. Meat wall, exactly. Sometimes you just want to blow some meat with your funny laser blaster. No, not like that. Don't be a pervert. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was I was raised on the internet. I was built this way. I wasn't raised on the internet. I was raised in a house on a farm in Kalamazoo. Yeah. Must be nice to be real. Yeah, it's and super fun. Real. I wouldn't know. I've been trapped in cyberspace for for ages. Do you have any idea how annoying that that robotic bird who talks like Gilbert Gottfried is? I've come across him way too many times. Which one? Please tell me somebody got that uh, that reference, please. The fucking puppet? Like the finger puppet that was on Adam Savage's show? No, I'm talking about Cyber Chase. Oh my god, Cyber Chase! He doesn't oh talk like god. Gilbert Gottfried. He's voiced by Gilbert Gottfried, babe. It's not... It's he different. talks like Gilbert Gro Gottfried because he is Gilbert Gottfried, but in a robotic bird costume. Okay, well then just say it's Gilbert Gottfried's voice, because I thought of the bird, and I was like, no. If she meant the bird, she would have said voiced by Gilbert Gottfried, not talks like Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> it's like, are... I don't talk like Ratty. What do you mean? <laughs> you are assuming that I am smart. Oh. <laughs> You're assuming too much of me. I'm just saying, like, you know, you learn the redundancies of language you know, through, like, osmosis, right? You don't have to say vegan tomato. <laughs> oh my god. I, I. Uh. Boy. Well, I mean, you technically could because, like, so you can get vegan tomatoes that were made without pesticides. I. But that's not what makes them vegan, though. That's not. Vegan isn't just like a, a. Vegan is a word that means something. It doesn't just mean, like, better than non vegan. Well, I mean, you ask the vegans and they'll say otherwise. What? Oh my god. <laughs> what? I don't- I have no- 
how would you I'm make sorry, a that tomato was that wasn't vegan? What are you talking about? You're being you're being a crazy person. No, I mean I don't think I'm being all that crazy because like um, the pesticides are bad for you and the environment. I guess so, but that's not being good. Being bad for the environment isn't what makes something not vegan. Yeah, but then there's also like you got those uh, genetically modified tomatoes that are like what genetic? Like, why would they? <laughs> Well, that's what I'm saying. The, the you got uh, GMO tomatoes going out there that are all like the same. You know, they're designed to look the yeah, same kind of. <laughs> Babe, that's not vegan though. Do you know? You understand what vegan means? Vegan means vegetables. <laughs> oh my god, honey. <laughs> Pure, unadulterated, no. grown from the ground. I yeah. have to think you're doing this as a bit. What if I wasn't? <laughs> Babe! <laughs> yeah, okay, you got me. <laughs> I was... I... I was like, no, but but for but for real though, I genuinely thought like the non-GMO, non-pesticide tomatoes were like basically tooted as vegan as a catch-all. So no, I think the thing I think I guess they just say I guess they do just straight up say non-GMO. Yeah, organic uh, or some shit. Yeah, organic. Made in the dirt. Oh yeah, I guess if you composted eggshells, then your tomatoes could be non-vegan. Hey, who wheels? Oh yeah. I'm really sorry for just being mean to you about not knowing what the word vegan means. <laughs> it's fine. It was funny. I thought it was funny. It was pretty funny. I like being stupid sometimes. It's funny to be an airhead, didn't you know? I have I have no experience with that. Okay. Well. Oh yeah, not at all. Being, yeah. I, I, okay, that's true, Remington. A hundred percent. I'm not a fucking 100%. airhead. I would graduated top of my class from one of the best journalism schools in the country. You realize you can still be an airhead. What the fuck? No, I'm so smart. It doesn't mean you're permanently not smart. It just means that you have moments. I have <laughs> moments. Like everyone else. Like my fucking grandfather with Alzheimer's. Oh my god. He just has his moments. <laughs> You know, Ratty has her moments. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. No, but you never you never had one of those moments where you're just like a, a dumb bimbo and you're just kinda like, no, like never being stupid. No? I never sure ever. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, very yeah. flustered Ratty. Never ever. I don't know why you would ever <laughs> imply this of me. I'm not I what are you talking about? you made this is this is like a this is a smear campaign. <laughs> this is not a, a, a smear campaign has to like is only a smear campaign if it's not true exactly that actually is legally correct which is kind of fun that like at least one of the policies in journalism law is common sense um yeah. you know wait so i just I didn't even have to go i i didn't even have to go to journalism school and do uh, that i'm well, smart it's... Let's let's be careful of my ego, okay? She is fragile. <laughs> Where the fuck do you go? Yeah, literally. I'm fragile, but not fragile. <laughs> I'm not fra What do you mean? How could I possibly be that, fragile? That, I think that, that, that I no, think that that's was, a, I think that that's was a joke. Death, from that was death a death branding yeah. reference. <laughs> I am oh, okay. I, I am fragile, but I'm not fragile. It's a that game Wasn't is that so on campy. South Park? I love it. Yeah, it's super campy, super Kojima. But I gotta say, Kojima. Actually, no, I lied. I think Fragile as a character name is actually pretty sick. I just wish that his metaphor. I wish it wasn't a woman. Or like character arcs were not so on the nose. Because like Fragile is basically that her whole character arc is just like. I'm fragile, but I'm not fragile. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I feel like maybe making fragile 
This is a hot take. A femboy instead would have been a lot better. Yes. That's what Randy like, is absolutely. basically. Like actually, if just to subvert the Kojima style of writing, which is all women are the same. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's a femboy would have been a lot better. I I do gotta say though, I loved Mads Mikkelsen. Um uh, like, I, oh, I haven't would. played the game. I haven't even watched people play the game. I've just watched the cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, genuinely... Fraggle Rock, oh my god. Fraggle Rock. Uh, but, like, genuinely, I really liked Mads Mikkelsen uh, in that game. I really liked uh, Troy Baker. Oh my god, his character's so good. Oh. Troy Baker is always good in everything that he it's does for true. Kojima. But, uh, also, uh, having the guy liner, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not usually, like, I don't usually have the hots for men, but fuck. Well, this is what give it somebody, is. Give right. some, like, give some hot, like, twink, some guy liner, and, this is, you know, I melt. Can I make a, an observation about, uh, the sort of paradigm of being queer? Yeah. Sure. Being a lesbian is basically an attraction to eyeliner. This is, this is my, That's we've your figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I Everyone so. says can, wait, hold on. I think I would more accurately describe myself mostly as like a bi lesbian because basically if anybody Ooh, wears eyeliner, I'm attracted problems. to them. Don't say that three but, times. Yeah, I was going to say, but I'm not going <laughs> to say that because I don't want the discourse to happen. Oh, oh no. We're going to scare I'm off. I'm ruining, anti I'm, I'm ruining queer spaces for like <laughs> you're ruining this queer like, space like, oh no how about that anyway <laughs> you ruined rock my queer space i i never watched fraggle rock please find a way to it's watch canadian fraggle television rock. what do you mean you haven't watched it's the national treasure That's can i thought it was american what no what do you mean this is a fucking uh, uh, b b b f fucking oh. sponsored by the cbc no Okay, so I still didn't watch it, but I had Schoolhouse of Rock in my brain. Uh, That's what I thought that was. I see, I see. Well, but no, yeah, Fraggle Rock is incredible, that. and I would yeah. highly recommend watching it. Yeah, it's a Jim Henson thing, so I'll probably have to watch it. I kind of have to. I'm a yeah. puppet. I'm supposed to know this shit. It's part of your character. Yeah, it's part of my existence. Yeah, right. I'm a, I'm a internet uh, punk queer Molly from Big puppet. Comfy Couch. I gotta know this shit. Yeah, it's Canadian too. It's fine. We know the Jim, Re the Jim Henson rabbit hole, and I just want to say there is one of us who is designed after a Jim Henson character, and we're not going to say who. I just kind of want to leave that up to speculation. I know who it is. You do, but you shouldn't say it because that gives away the fun. I know <laughs> who it is. Is it the one that Hall is true? Or you actually don't want me to give the game away? I don't want you to give the game away. Because then people will try to figure out which one, and I want I want it to be a journey. I want it to be a fun little side project. Well, to choose either way, up. what's gonna happen is they're just gonna scroll backwards in your media tab until they find it. Well, yeah, sure. Find one but that I looks like uh, a puppet. Yeah. I didn't post it anywhere on my main, so good luck. <laughs> good luck, faggot. You can't say that on stream. Yes, I can. I'm reclaiming it. Or I'm being homophobic, whichever t whichever Twitch likes better. <laughs> oh my god. Have we figured I that mean, out but, yet? Are homophobes honest, or homosexuals but... cooler at this point? Both. Okay. Do you want to know how the both works? Because I do actually intimately know the mechanics, unfortunately. Go for it. So, it works as both because you get like big boy debate streamers like fucking Destiny, right? Oh, I wish I could have gone my whole life without hearing that name. God, but continue. Yeah. yeah, so basically he's Twitch's Ben Shapiro, and the reason he's popular is because he's very racist and very homophobic. But and he doesn't ever he was a liberal. This, he, he has only said... said the slur once, I think. Like, the, like he said the N-word literally once on stream, I believe. On stream is a different He got, away with, he got away with it. No, he got away, away with it. Because I do know, Why did like, he do that? ages ago when Twitch was known as Justice For the sake TV, of argument. he did say it. For the sake of argument. Yeah, like, the thing about Destiny that I hate so much about him is that he just talks really fast. He's literally Ben Shapiro, but Twitch. Yeah. That's literally yeah. it. Yeah. And, and um... It's so annoying. 
And the thing is, is like, like most debate bros, he doesn't actually have any ideas in his head, he does not think. <laughs> he simply <laughs> wants to be a slave to capital for the rest of his life. Yeah. But he... then, now you're a gay, now I'm gonna put you in the shoes of a gay person on Twitch, or a trans person, whoever the f right? Mm -hmm. If you say any one thing wrong, and someone decides to press you on that, you're gone tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. So they do like you being on the platform for just like, oh, hey, queers can be here. Good job. <laughs> Are you allowed to say queer? Yes. Yeah. Oh. But I can't say faggot? No, no because I don't think there is a course in university studies called faggot studies, but there is queer studies. I would take a faggot studies course any day of the week. So would I. I swear to God. 100%. It's like... Uh, what do they what do they call it? It's literally the same thing. What? Those Seriously, two words mean the same it. thing. Yeah, but like you would definitely get a, a, an F word studies course would definitely be tonally different to a a, a queer studies course. Definitely, How? definitely. Def the tone, just the tone. Like someone's like this. Welcome to F word studies. And you're like, well, this guy's either cool or bad. Yeah, someone says, welcome to queer theory, and you're like, oh, this is definitely a medium person. Like, I'm yeah. I'm I don't get scared of queer theory <laughs> medium professors. Medium person is a very good actual... I like that term a lot. <laughs> yeah. You know. Medium person. They it's... go to Starbucks sometimes. They go to Starbucks. What? Hold on. I go to Starbucks sometimes. What, the what do you hell? get when you go to Starbucks? Strawberry frat, obviously. Oh, okay, good. And so, I if they have the strawberry, people, or I, I thought you were one of those people who somehow managed to drink Starbucks coffee. I, I hate it. The other Starbucks thing I get so bad. is I like if, the caramel frappes. The other thing I get is if they have the strawberry shortcake. Uh, it's not called bruschetta. What's the dried out bread called? Biscotti? Biscotti, there we go. Um, that sounds pretty good. If they have that, then I'll get a hot chocolate and that, and I'll dip it in the hot chocolate. Ooh. Sometimes that's a power play. It, during the winter time, I'll get like, uh, like a like just a nice uh, like hot chocolate with cinnamon, or like a peppermint hot chocolate. Although, peppermint hot chocolate, I I've been thinking the next time I get one. I'm gonna ask them to do it half and half, like half regular hot chocolate and half peppermint hot chocolate, because uh, the peppermint flavor is just too strong for me. Oh my god, I'm a fucking airhead! No! Oh my god, why did I just spend so much time talking about fucking Starbucks? No! <laughs> am, I, bimbo vacation arc. am I really a fucking bimbo? No, guys, listen, <laughs> stop! It's not. It's, it's not. It's, no. Don't worry about it. It's cute. It's adorable. I love no, it. No, 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 no. You don't know anything. You didn't see me. <laughs> how do you, how do we feel about Spubby? Who's Spubby? Uh, how oh, Subway? I feel about, how Subway. I feel Subway. about Subway is um, I miss I I miss it a lot. I used to go to Subway a lot when I was in high school because uh, you just literally walked down the block and there was a Subway there. Just literally um, walked down the block, buddy. Sorry. Yeah, you just walk down the block there, and there's a subway on the corner, you know, walk down another block, there's a Timmy Hose on the, you know, My God. Uh, mall parking lot. This is why people but, think that there are Canadians and Americans, is because of people from Saskatchewan fucking trying to make a, a competition out of it, who can be the most fucking Canadian. Fuck me, Dad. Listen, listen. I put, I put up the spubby so you, so you can see it. Spire subway? Is it have it in a way? E oh wait, it's Efreef, of course. Spire e Subway. E so okay, I have a question about Spire Subway. No. We, you mm. you don't we don't we don't want to talk about Spire Subway. We Come are on. not talking about that image. Please. Question. It's we my stream. About that image. I have a question. I have a, I do have one question related to Spire Subway. Yeah. And that is, <laughs> would Spyro Subway be an F word studies? Yes. No. Yes. 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 <laughs> I took a I took a, a course about the history of hip hop, and there was a section where we talked about fucking like 
uh, fan fiction, and because like <laughs> pop is about like reuse culture and that kind of thing, and my professor put uh, like a dreary illustration on the screen. Holy moly! Oh, I'm lost. I feel like Draco yeah. and Harry from Harry Potter. <laughs> Shut up. And like they were touching butt too. Is the thing? Incredible. No. <laughs> and he would just like, this is dreary. This is like what fan fiction is. And I'm just thinking, oh no, Jim, th th you don't have to put that on the projector though. You <laughs> could just describe what it is. There was also some Spurk or whatever, whatever Kirk Spock is called now. Sperm. Spurk. Spurk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come up with more ship names for Kirk Spock. Nah, I, I think Cock is the best one. Yeah, I pretty think good. Skok is my favorite. Skok. <laughs> Skok is pretty good, I have to admit. Wouldn't Skok be <laughs> like uh, Spock, Kirk, and Scotty, I think? Maybe. I have a question, though. No, that's... That's... <laughs> that's that's just... I'm, that's just thinking... Scott, but with, like, way too much spelling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, since... Since we're talking about Star Trek, can I ask uh, everybody's favorite uh, series? Um, I'm, Boom, you go first. I you like between, the Borg, but I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Um, <laughs> was that someone else? Whoops! I just did a microaggression against a robot. Oh no. <laughs> um. <laughs> um I was going to say. Tell your faggot studies professor about it. <laughs> I'm going to actually kick you in the fucking. This teeth. is the thing. They wouldn't have robots in queer studies. They would have. They would only have robots in faggot studies. You gotta stop saying that word. No, I'm using it academically. I'm allowed. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm gonna take a quick second away from Metroids just so I can copy paste some shit. Hold on. Filters. No, but like, what were you, what were you saying about? I was gonna say, I am very much either a Deep Space Nine person or a Next Generation person. Okay. I am very bland. <laughs> no, that's fine. How about you, Ratty? Hold on, I have to copy paste some stuff. All right, then I'll go. Um, mine is. Uh, pretty close between Next Generation and Voyager, but I think I personally prefer Voyager. Voyager is also good. Voyager is very good, in my opinion. Um, uh, I think I like the more... I, it's a little more action-oriented, uh, but there's still a lot of character development um, in the show. Um, I don't like how it ended, though. I think... Uh, Chakotay at Seven of Nine never should have been a thing. That was stupid. Yeah, Seven of Nine uh, is clearly a lesbian. Yeah. Literally, it should have been fucking Janeway and Seven of Nine, obviously. That was the obvious choice. Yeah, because they're both, like, old baddies. I'm trying to remember which one we liked more, but our brain is very not real. How did you feel about Seven of Nine? Is that like an awakening mm -hmm. moment for you? Was that like what Jamie Lee oh Curtis was for God. me? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I mean, for me it was. If you're actually I, right, I, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> what? I, for me it was. It oh, was you're Googling like, 709. Oh, you know what? Okay. Being like, being like, I mean, 709 is basically just like, Bach with like some sick ass cyborg transplants. And yeah. I kind of thought about that and I was like, that's kind of sick, actually. Yeah. I don't... Well, no, that wouldn't have been for me at that point, because we're all transhumanists. Well, that's fair. Have you read, um... Oh, God, I have to recommend you this book, but I don't remember what it's called. Hmm. I'm going to go into my notes real quick from fucking journalism school. There's oh, a... you... Notes from journalism. I thought you said I'm going to go into my nuts. And I was like, huh? I'm going to go right up into my nuts. <laughs> right up into my nuts. Which one of the, which one did they add those like hairball creatures that hypno you? My mom had VHSs of that, so that is what I watched from. Oh, Kate that's Yagi. tribbles. Those are tribbles. Those are tribbles, I believe. That was in the original series.
We're probably going to love it a lot then. I, I will probably receive said link for this, uh, theory and then not read it because I'm the worst type of anarchist who doesn't give a fuck about theory. <laughs> I don't read, I just know that capitalism sucks and that's about it. I mean, that's a good place to start. Yeah. I mean, also, like, where do you really even start if you're getting into that kind of theory anyways? Because, like, you just oh, read that. Conquest it's... of Bread, like, oh, read Con Conquest of Bread, and it's like, oh, yeah, sure, I'm gonna read, like, the fucking, like, two paragraphs and have to sit there for half an hour trying to parse what Marx is saying. Not even necessarily Karl Marx, either, because, Je uh, Jenny Marx. It was written by Karl Marx, but Jenny Marx, uh... I do know this much, um, did a lot of proofreading to make it actually halfway legible, and even then it still makes my brain hurt. Whoa, I'm blue because the loading screen is blue. Whoa! You gotta teach me how to do that. That's, that's so cool. Okay, cool. Oh, uh... Dairon? More like Dairon. I'm still listening to that fucking song. Hang on. I was listening to the song that I was, uh, drawing Ken to that entire time. <laughs> For the entire stream. It if is a it good was song. In if it was in comic book form, I might. Like how Marie Kondo's cleaning book had a manga at Marie Kondo's cleaning book had a manga adaptation. You're bullshitting me. I'm going to listen to my favorite Outtasher album, uh, Sign. Outtasher, rather. You should say the word. Oh, it's out. Okay, so it's- No, you're not, honey. So it's Outtasher. Please don't! <laughs> Honey! You be nice to yourself. So how do you- how do you pronounce, uh, that? Cause I was always like- I thought it was always like Otecker, or Otec or something like that, but Otecher? Is that it? How I learned to say it was Ostecher. Out, out sure. God damn it! I out love having. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna look it up for the both of us, for both of our sake. Uh, I'm oh god, I hate, when, I hate it when I hate it when Wikipedia has the pronunciation guidelines, but I can't read it because it's like a bunch of symbols. Here, give me. I give. Um, I put it in chat. There okay. it is. I think that means Otecker. Oh, oh Mhm. Mm yeah. I wonder how this I wonder how this would run on my slightly enlarged uh edition of the uh Nintendo Switch. Yeah. I mean, it's got like a, it's got an NVIDIA graphics card and everything in it, so. It's Bonk. got a shitty processor. You got bonked? <gasps> you got bonked by the oh. bug. Oh, I thought she was transforming, but she just like broke her armor and then died.
I didn't I didn't mean to gasp, but apparently I'm a, a fucking lesbian. Who'd have thought? No, I'm right. I'm right. It's it's uh Audisher. it's Audisher. Uh, Audisher? Okay. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, normal T. So T, and then yeah. Wait, wait. No, there's a K in there somewhere. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Out to, it's out to care. Out, out to care. Out of care. I'm sorry. It, I, I, think I think I'd rather go to just out to, oh, to sure. Ready? Ready, you're muted, by the way, on stream. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, this should do it. Cly, okay. Alright, great work everybody. What I was saying was, there's some fucking spooky business going down. And this- did you see the robot tried to punch through the door? It was so scary. Spooky. No, that's me. It's spooky! It is spooky, yeah. I'm very scared. I'm like super, 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 super duper scared. Kate is asking if it got bound to M again. No, it did not get bound to M again. No. What about what about other M? Huh? Because you're playing Metroid. Wow. Uh -huh. So I've never Maybe. played Metroid other M. Other M. Sometimes I get M and N confused. Like that seems pretty. Oh, we turned the power back on. Good. That's that's an improvement. Other M, more like other mom, because I want. Salmon, never mind, I'm not gonna finish that thought. You could have made a joke about that that wasn't about you wanting to have sex with Samus Arian. Uh, uh, <laughs> um. What? It's Samus, uh, uh, Samus <laughs> Aran? Yeah, you know. Mm, <laughs> let's move on. Listen. Oh, I thought you had to, like, go pick that up. I'm very smart. I do have to pick it up. Fire three thought, games at once. I thought you meant like you had to walk up to him and do this cutscene where, where you just take it. But no. Nope. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you are a nut. About this. About this. Missile time? Missile time. Mystical. Mistletoe. Wow, Toes, you would, Ratty. Shut up! <laughs> Teeth moment. <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I'm not plural, I have schizophrenia, it's different. Where the fuck do they expect me to go? Like, I have the three beam now, what do they want from me? I think you, I think you missile forward, potentially. If you don't, then you have to go all the way around somehow. Oh, wait. What if I go down? Is that possible? <gasps> down is possible. Wasn't that a fun experience we had together? Yeah. I'm not smart. No, this, me neither. This game is a thinking person's game, and I don't think. I'm not thinking either. I'm just having fun. That See, one. this is the weird thing about being a drone. It's like, you quite literally are just a computer. Yeah. Like, you really are just quite li like. You're basically a fucking Threadripper with a Titan X, but sometimes you just can't think. <laughs> it just still doesn't work. Titan X Threadripper, yeah. Just got a little, uh, the bottleneck, you Is know, that part of it? Do no. drones go around, like, comparing rigs? They're like, oh, my processor has so many <laughs> Google gablas in it. Oh my god. I hope so. I hope someone exists like that. That'd be really funny. I imagine it would be, like, Hype beast culture or like sneakerhead culture. 
Oh, I yeah, it probably would be. It'd be some, like, douchey shit, like, Oh, yeah, I got, like, six NVIDIA GTX 2060s in here so I can mime cryptocurrency at an amazing rate. Yeah, they just you wish open you up had their this. jacket instead of a rib cage. There's, like, six graphics cards. Yeah, and then, like, you literally get within six feet of them and they're just a space heater because they're constantly, like, mining cryptocurrency, Good wasting for a shit ton though. of energy. Potentially. Fast. Bonk. Bonk. He's gonna find a way around. Alert mode. Come on, let me uh, through. Emmy, you think you're so smart? Oh, I'm not that smart. No, I'm not smart. I'm not smart. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's speedy. This oh, is I a love little him. speedy boy. Don't worry about him. Can't catch me over here, Emmy. Oh, hey, we're back here. Cool. Pug. That's pretty neat. And I think now what it wants me to do... Power beam door, power beam door. Yeah, none of these are triple... Triple beamers. Beamers is BMW, right? Not... Yes. Okay. I couldn't it remember if, on how you, which one was this It depends this on how you say it, actually. I think uh, Beamer is the car and Bimmer is the motorcycles. Okay. Yes. Well, I just wanted yeah. to make sure I wasn't doing a slur. Is the <laughs> only thing. You know, classic yeah, girl yeah. stuff. Don't say slurs. <laughs> You're great. I love you. Hi. We heard that goes back to where you. Yeah, I know. I want to go get okay, the. Cool. I want to go get the fun, cool secrets in there. I thought you were having a high, a high moment. No, I'm not high. I don't smoke weed. What are you talking Honey. about? <laughs> I've never smoked weed in my life. What are you talking about? Honey. Am I okay? People tell me. Is that a cat? No, that was me moving my mic. Oh. You could have said yes, and it would have made me happy. <laughs> I, no! I, trust me, I wish I had a cat, but my brother and my mom are allergic. Damn. I'm allergic. You take care oh. of a cat, which is really funny. Actually, hang on. So, we found this out with our ex's cat, that we're allergic to him specifically. So I don't know if it's just like a specific fur thing. Or it's like a breed thing, but we're not allergic to all cats, and we know that. It's not I think it can be. I think um, if that is the case, and I think um, you're allergic to the uh, dandruff, not necessarily the fur. E either or, it was just like I'm allergic to something about him specifically, mm -hmm. which was weird. Maybe he's just got bad vibes. <laughs> Maybe the vibes weren't good. <laughs> no, he was a little bastard. He was the fucking worst. But we... Seems but like bad I vibes. Loved him a lot. I uh, when I lived in BC for about a month, uh, I was living with my cousin, and she had a um, a little black cat uh, that she named Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh -huh. um, and she'd always no. get in trouble no, 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 and no, no, shit, no, no. like gump getting Holy on the moly. no, 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 and everything. Sorry. And she'd be like Shinsuke. Oh my uh, god. Really oh look, that one's yeah. getting pet. That's funny. In the background, you see the robot arm petting the yeah, little I, robot? I, I do. It's okay. very good. Oh, there's two. They're That's friends. That's gonna be me to you in uh... Oh, there's a meat wall. In a bit. Whoops. I just didn't know what to do. My eye shut down. I had an anxiety attack. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh. oh, I got the fucking button prompt. What the hell? No way. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to be bad at video games. Meatwall. I want to see you walk. Meatwall. Um. Meatwall. Meatwall. Nope. Good job. Didn't need to Run do away. that. <gasps> Mother brain room. Okay. Sick. I think I shoot rockets at it. Yeah. Bing, bing, bing. How does this make you feel? Does this remind you of your mother? What? <laughs> the robot. The big robot. Like the big brain robot. Who's your administrator?
You know? Why are you looking that's at me very, like that? That's a very loaded question. Do you not... you... What's... okay, what's the lore? Tell me the lore then, since you're such a little lore nugget. Lore nuggets. Now I can I... kill... the robot. Check this out. I can do this, and I can do this. This is how you kill the robot. Is that a li is that like is that personal? Just what? Stream doesn't need to know about your administrator. You're right. I'm sorry. Come here, buddy. I'm here, buddy. Oh, please. Please shoot faster, Samus. Stun, 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 stun. Okay, great. And then... Nope, other way, Samus. No, we're not gonna make that. No, we're not gonna be able to see that, robot. Whoop. I need, like, oh, a that's nice... A, that's intimidating. I need a nice, long run. Come on, fuck me. Okay. That's intimidating. Yeah, very. They're they're super scary. I love, I love that, them. Yeah, the mechanic is super cool too, where it's like you have to it's two it's two moments where you just have to stand still and stare at it. Which is a really like really good for tension. <laughs> yeah, literally bear stance. Nope. Snuck up behind me. I don't know why that's glitching out graphically. I wonder if that's because of my broken Nintendo Switch or it's that's intentional. It's because of your broken Nintendo Switch. Oh, fun. Another friend with a broken Nintendo Switch had the same thing happen and a lot of effects looked intentional on accident. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's probably going to ruin Breath of the Wild for me, but like this... Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay, come on. Broken Nintendo Switch. I got what happened was wow that was close. I got my Nint I got my Nintendo Switch out of one of those funny like box games, you know what I mean? Where they're like, "Oop." Like you have to uh thank you. That was pretty good, huh? Motherfucker. All right, well. Cool. Um, how did you do that twice? What do you mean? Don't worry about it. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> um, what were we, we were talking about broken Nintendo Switches. Yes. Yeah. I'm a, I want to be a broken Switch. Hi, <laughs> I'm Ratty. Break me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. How was I going to get more on the nose than that, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go down as far as possible. And then through here. And I'm gonna line right up at this wall. Oh my god, and I missed. No, how did I miss twice? Are there any free games for Switch? I wanna get one for Animal Crossing, but that's $3 for a let. You can get a broken one. <laughs> Does someone want to uh, help our friend Kate Yagi through the steps of getting a broken Nintendo Switch? Not, I feel like maybe not right now. Not presently, but Kate is in the Discord. Motherfucker, you stuck Whoa. up behind me? <laughs> that was pathetic. That was nowhere close to the fucking quick time event. You know, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying if you play, if you pay for video games, that's good, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually a moral imperative now to pirate video games, uh, and that's a joke, obviously. 
Who would even think that piracy was like a good thing? Not me. No, ma'am. Come on. I know what you're thinking. Ratty, you're not flying a little close to the sun here? Well, uh, it's none of your business. There we go. Bonk. Bonk. I don't like that they're not all white. I think the it, the lime makes it look like a transformer. You know? You know, you're not the most wrong. Say again? You're not the most wrong, actually. I, f I wish that it was, like, white with green accents and, like, you know, red accents and all that stuff. Yeah. Plus, the white one was kind of ruined because it had purple accents, and it was like, that doesn't look that good. There's Sentai. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Morph Ball. Hey. I know you. Whoop. Whee. Did we get Spider Ball by default? No, we don't. Did you know, did you know that lesbians can turn into a little ball? This is true. I've never heard anything to the contrary. Okay, so... Oops. This was the mother brain room. That's the whole point of this video game, is to let you know that. Yeah, it's representation, basically. So where can I use the funny ball? Down here? Yeah, I can use the funny ball down here. How do I get down there? Whee. Oh, well, I'm not supposed to go that way, apparently. I morph ball. I think you can go in there now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look. Whoa. Yeah. How much RAM is the Switch? Isn't it the same processor as a Raspberry Pi? I don't fucking know, dog. I don't eat pie. You think I'm a pie person? I made a lovely cake last night, but it's not cooked in the middle, and I think I thought to myself this morning, that's probably why they want you to use the bunt pan. Cause it doesn't cook that well in the middle. Fuck me, dead. That's not what I meant to do. Can I can I go from hanging to morph ball? Can you? Yeah. You can go on the, on the ledge. What are you? You want a bomb. Where, where now? Oh. This is so cool. They're like leading me down an alternative path that was there the whole time. Okay. Yeah, don't fuck with me. Don't you ever I fuck with me. Cute. What? You're cute. What do you mean? There's yeah, nothing cute th th about that at all. I was like Tony Soprano. I was like Ninja from uh, fucking Diane Word. You know, everyone's favorite band, Diane Word. Remember when everyone was really into Diane Word and then they made that movie? And now <laughs> do we, no one talks about Diane Word anymore? I don't think people Diane talk. Word is a mess <laughs> and always has been. Well, yeah, isn't it? I mean, that you know, aren't they like... Are they gangsters or are they pretending to be gangsters? This is something... I have no clue. This is maybe a critical distinction. Oh, here we go. This is so strange to, like, see this game through new eyes. That's one of the things I love about Metroid is you can... You go back and you... And, like... Like, literally, I'm being handheld right now, but I don't mind because it's like these p these pipes were here all along and they're just guiding me to a location that I haven't been before, um, which I think is really fun and cool. And also, there's enough like variety in the. Hmm. How am I supposed to get up there? I don't know if I'm supposed to get up there yet. Oh, no, you know what it is? Is It's probably spider ball. Hmm. So where else can I go with my new ability? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, I can go this way. Maybe. Will that take me anywhere? Maybe I'm not being handheld and maybe I'm just connecting a bunch of tunnels that are like just intentionally like not maybe I'm narrativizing some pretty innocent tubes here. You innocent know? tubes. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm I'm thinking a like series of tubes. This is this is such good game design. I'm being I'm being led around and I don't even mind. And meanwhile, I I'm actually just being a dumb little gay little stoner. I, I just thought like you the didn't turn do of phrase weed innocent ratty. Tube. Hmm? I thought you didn't do weed ratty. No, I don't. I'm a stoner. I'm not a stoner. I've never stoned ever. I just really like the turn of phrase of um. <laughs> um, how do I say this? Innocent Fucking... tubes. Yeah. It isn't tubes. That's really good. I feel like that could be like something else that would also be good in terms of like a song name, maybe. Or like the name of a femboy. Hi, I'm Innocent Tubes. This is oh my God. It's like a it's like a funny like sort of post ironic drag persona. Here we go. Oh, new robot. Big boy. Beat him up. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna leave him alone. No, you can't, can't do that. Beat him up. Why? It's robot on robot violence. Well, now I'm dead. Beat him up. Does the game explain why Samus loses her upgrades between games? Yes, every single game, they do. Samus either crashes her ship or, like, gets attacked by something that sucks out her power. Between every single game, they're like, Uh-oh, Samus lost her upgrades again. And everyone's like, yeah, we figured. <laughs> <laughs> like, disappointed. Is Samus the disappointment kid? Like, despite all of her various accolades. No, 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 no. Samus, I'm I'm not disappointed with Samus. I'm just angry. Um, no, no, I mean, like, like, she's very clearly a lesbian, but do you think she's the family disappointment just for that alone, despite saving the entire fucking, like, galaxy repeatedly? I don't think she has a family. The Chozo are all, like, dead. What do you mean? How could she be a disappointment to a family she doesn't have? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they do hate Samus. Maybe they're like, you're our least favorite. That's why we all decided to die, is because, uh, fuck you is why. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I want to go clubbing. I want to go dancing. You guys want to go dancing together? I cannot come up there easily. Well, come dancing. Come on the weekend. It'll be okay Children. if you just come on the weekend. Whoop. Kill that robot. Oh, well, this is not even the way, though, so... I don't know. There's Maybe. definitely a secret in this room. Maybe. <gasps> you know what it is? Hmm. Nope, it wasn't that. My cats are fighting each other. Children. Oh no. <laughs> Cash, Children leave him fighting. alone. What the fuck? Okay, that guy's dead too. It's gotta be in this room. There has to be something in here. Metroid. What does the map say? There was just like a cool dude in here that now I, I get to look I got to look at him, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna walk all the way over here just in case. Oh, there it is. That's right. Oh, but we can't we don't have the fucking I did the rocket wrong. Motherfucker, come on. Just like Sora? Who's Sora? Sora Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I'm pretty Sora Kingdom Hearts myself. <laughs> Just because I don't like it that much. 
Why don't you like Kingdom Hearts? I just have never played it. It's not something that catches my interest. Like, I think about spending a 12-hour game with Mickey Mouse, and I'm like, I'm good. You don't. You literally don't. You Donald Duck is, like, one of your party members, is he not? Yes. Okay, so what's the difference? Um... Smelly. Well, for one, it's already- it's on its own a subversion. Like, they immediately subverted it, basically, outside of- Really, the only game I have any complaints with in terms of story at this point is Kingdom Hearts 1. Because it's very much like, this is the introduction to a series. Hmm. So it's very, very basic. Kingdom Hearts 2 goes over so much, like, genuine trauma and loss. It's so cool, actually. Damn, maybe I'll watch Kingdom Hearts 2. Or play it, now that I have a Nintendo Switch. Also, all of the, um... The other games, like the Frontier titles and such, also have some really, really fucking cool shit going on. Alright, well, you get to... You get to walk me through Kingdom Hearts, then. Yeah, I said... I... I asked Foos at some point if they wanted to help me explain to you the tragedy of fucking to Kingdom Hearts. Not even the, you don't have to cry. give me the whole. Just like play the game with me. Oh, yeah. I don't own the collection. Is well, the thing. Hi, I have a broken Nintendo Switch. I can get anything I want. I was looking for it, but I couldn't find it. What are you tell? Are you telling me a PS2 game doesn't come on broken Nintendo Switch? You're ridiculous. When did the first Kingdom Heart come out? Oh yeah, no. Donald is canonically the strongest like black mage to exist in the Final Fantasy universe. That's fun. Oh hey, I found this. Like he did the highest level spell out of any character in any Final Fantasy game ever. That's incredible. You love to see it. Oh, I got my rockets back. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could just you could get just rockets. I think that there's things here. I feel like there's lies. No. Yeah, I was right. There were lies. Oh my god, and there's like... Oh, hey, check this out. We're doing a subversion. Speaking of subversion... I want to thank the sponsor of today's video. Subversion Box. The only source for subversion. What is this? Is this, this a map? This is a teleporter. Oh. Teleportal. Huh. Why do they call it teleportal? That's a little silly. Yeah, sure, I'll go elsewhere. Why Just not? Just to be a little silly, probably. This is a. I this, feel like, this feels like the flow like of the game. Say again? I feel like the series is like self-aware enough to be like, yeah, this is silly. Well, let's rock it anyway. No way. This 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 this, this series takes itself completely seriously. What do you mean? You're lying. You don't know anything about Metroid. I'm Metroid's biggest fan. You don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> but Metroid, yeah, Kate, so. um, across literally every Final Fantasy game, there has not been. Anyone who can cast anything to the same level of power, especially in fucking live. Yeah, and live. That's incredible. So, keep this in mind. I'm talking about the strongest forms of, like, the biggest Final Fantasy bads ever. And none of them can compare to Donald fucking Duck. <laughs> Donald fuck. Oh. Oh, free missile tank. That's probably what they wanted me to teleport like down here for. Yeah. Who would win in a fight, uh, Donald Duck or One Punch Man? Hi, welcome back to Nerd, uh, the Nerd Cast. Oh Who would win God. in a fight, Donald Duck or the Nerd Cast? Next thing you know, we're gonna start breaking out in rap, epic rap battles of history. Or someone whatever. just asked me, like one of my roommates just asked me if I want a tablet when we move so that I can do more draw. Hey, That'd be cool. Hell yeah. Welcome, welcome to, welcome to nerd, welcome to the nerd fight. I'm your host, Ratchet Vermington, and today's question we're asking is, who'd win in a fight, Joseph Joestar or Samus Aran? Uh, let's start the debate. So I don't know anything Samus about Samus Aran. Uh, I'm, I'm not explaining it. It's just Samus Aran. I don't know anything about the Joestars, 
So you're gonna which, have to. Which JoJo? Wait, which JoJo was it? I need to know this. Joseph Joestar, I think. I don't know. I just picked. So, that's a that's a fat L for Joseph right there. Okay. Yeah. Is Jesus that, Christ he's not an old man who like dies? Can I <laughs> basically in that, in, situ in that situation? Oh, okay. Now, is Jesus Christ not one of the Joe stars? Jesus Christ is not, in fact, one of the Joe stars. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure I saw a Tumblr post online that was like, Jesus is a Joe star. Super missile. Good to know that that's here. Yeah, you walk in the other way because you're like, I don't want to die. But it's too bad. I do remember on Tumblr, people were kind of- Shows us Dreist. <laughs> <laughs> I remember people on Twitter were going a little bit nutty over a, what do you call it? Over an anime that had Buddha and Jesus Christ. Oh, I, remember yeah. as yeah. I think that was supposed to be good too. Like it was just a cute little yeah. slice of life. Yeah. I also heard it was good, but also I was like, mm, Christianity, I'll pass. Buddha's not Christian. What are you talking about? Buddha's not even Abrahamic. Buddha isn't, but Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about the fact that my book has Jesus Christ femboy in it? It is okay, because it is a subversion of the Room that hot. hegemonic viewing of a white Jesus Christ. What the fuck? How did I die so fast? Room got hot. It's white, by the way. Yeah, I know. We all know that. Yeah. My Jesus Christ in book two is pretty directly based off of a bunny femboy that I follow on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, you know. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, take a guess. You already know. I'm very excited to read this, actually. <laughs> I cannot wait. <laughs> Just imagine Jesus doing a whip it. <laughs> I'm ready. I love you so much. It's going to so be great. a good book. Jesus is going to do a whip it in it. I have never done with it. Fun fact. I was already, I've I was already convinced it was going to be a good book because Rhodey's in it. Well, yeah, but that's that's uh, nepotism. Holy moly, stop falling apart, fucking. Yeah. Holy gosh darn moly. I wow. will admit, I do understand the benefits of nepotism because I am the benefactor of such mm -hmm. and uh, feels great, man. Feels super good. <laughs> Inheritance. Room hot. Okay, well, you, you know, you gotta say that before I walk into the room. I didn't see Room Hot. <laughs> oh, whoa, this orb has given me a new power. Uh, mm. uh, my suit, it's changed. Fanta. <laughs> that does look pretty much like Fanta. Rhea suit. Hell yeah. Uh, Rhea. Oh, uh, Rhea. Wait, wait, what's that room? I don't know. It probably is hot room, yeah. You can go inside hot room now, that's what it said. Okay. Wait, there's a oh, big, big tank. Yeah, but it's gonna damage me, so I don't know if. Missile plus tank acquired. Ooh, that was a lot of damage to take for that, but at least I don't have to come back for it now, I guess. Yeah, it's the- what do you mean, what did it say? It's the Varia suit. It means you can go in hot place. I don't know shit about fuck. You- you know video games. You used to be like a pro gamer. What was in... your- what was your best pro gamer moment? What was a real moment of triumph for you as a pro gamer? Do you want to revisit memories about being a pro gamer, or should I shut the fuck up? <laughs> There's one I really like. Okay. Um, just like while I was still very fresh, 
Um, there was this transphobe who just really liked harassing me. Uh, and, uh, seems like a great memory so far. I'm loving it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Stimmy. Um, You're okay. So, so how this goes is I'm playing a match against this person and his team. Here's a here's a really fun thing about uh, ESCA Team Fortress 2 is um, some people are very, very bad at the video game and very much don't want to be. And they don't want to put in the work to be better. This is one of those such people. But literally all of the people he hangs out with and his friends of friends all are, are all like invite players. Like some of the best of the best. Mm -hmm. So they decide, you know what, we're just going to do the time-honored tradition of sandbagging in the open division. Uh, because our friend wants to play the video game, even though he's a huge dick and none of us like him. And, um... So... I was a medic player. Some people in here will understand what that means. Others will not. Basically, oh, I I'm always, basically, I'm always a high value target, no matter what. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I was thinking of the other things that people say about medic players. I'm going to kill you. Um, <laughs> so, I'm a medic player, and you're both so, fucking faggots too. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Shut up. Um, <laughs> so. The fun thing about being a medic player is people really like to talk down to you because they assume you know literally nothing about anything and you're just playing a quote unquote easy class well, you don't when realistically aim. you're doing the most you are doing the most numbers that anyone in the entire server is doing yeah. in your head constantly Damn. in in the SEA format I was you engineer. are constantly keeping track of everyone's ability to become invulnerable <laughs> and um sometimes sometimes uh when you're coached by some of the best medics to ever play the game which we were not at the time but we soon after were so we knew how to also do damage on this class because we also had good aim big surprise how about that uh, what what gun were you using crossbow because that was the only useful one <laughs> Oh, yeah. And also I, I does a shit ton of damage. That is true, yeah. I was gonna I was gonna say, like, wait, this is competitive. You're probably using the Crusader's crossbow. Yeah. I was thinking like, what about the blood sauger? But also that's that's a meme gun. It is not a good weapon. Um <laughs> So this motherfucker uh there's something that we call a concept. Uh, there's, there's a concept we call ego peeking, which is just, this person isn't going to kill me. Even though this is an entirely disadvantageous, disadvantageous situation, I'm going to keep fighting them. Just to prove to them I'm not only not scared, but I can win this fight. And when you're running away as a medic player, normally you have like some form of damage that you can take extra knockback from. So you try to like ride off of the damage that they deal to you the entire time when you're running away from these really bad fights. This person chases me more than halfway across of a ma across the map with a computer setup much better than mine, a frame rate much better than mine, like <laughs> mice and aim much better than mine. And he chases me for a solid like minute on the best class in the game. What's the best the class? The entire time not a uh, scout. Oh. Yeah, and the entire time he is not managing to kill me, not even a little bit. There was one point where I get to under half HP and I just get a med kit and I keep fighting him. And uh, by this time, for our Team Fortress 2 players in the chat, I had already gotten three Uber saws off on this person in a competitive oh, no. match of ESCA 6v6. That's how much of a dead weight this person was. Holy shit. And uh, what happens at the end, what happens at the end, I'm very proud oh, of. Please. So, um, this man chases me all the way up onto a catwalk where one of the best snipers to ever play the video game can now see me exiting so I can get out to my team again. And the sniper not only doesn't realize that I'm there immediately, but this same dipshit, the same weeb that everyone hates, dies to me <laughs> from my Uber saw, and suddenly I am at full <laughs> Uber. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> waiting to retake the point. Because this dipshit decided to just chase me across the map thinking that, oh, I'll be fine. Well, this, this slur 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 is bad at the game. 
Oh, oh cool. I, I love it when you completely <laughs> school somebody on the game and then they're like, you're bad at game. And it's like, I, I don't, think I don't think the results say <gasps> that. Big robot! Yeah. But the, the most fun <laughs> part about that was like, it was such a good clip. Oh, it's great. <gasps> uh, the most fun part about that was when we posted it to the forum and it actually like got a lot of good attention because it was really funny. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. Because oh, yeah. that team was stacked. <laughs> you love to see it. That's not a robot. It makes me sad. I thought it was going to be a robot. It's Crane. Who? Spooky monster. Spooky. I think that's Crane. Who? I don't remember Crane. What? Crane. Craig? Craig? Crane. I don't remember Crane. I even know Kraid, and I've never played a Metroid. No, I don't know him. Is it a wow, 3D Metroid this has thing? To be a bit. You can't be serious. Is it a 3D Metroid thing? No. <laughs> it is not. You can't be serious, dude. Oh my god, he throws his fingernails. <laughs> I don't know. Ready. Oh my word. No, what do you mean? I Which Metroid is, is this dude from? A Metroid. I don't know, I only play the good games, sorry. Wow. I can't even respond to that, because I don't know what games he's actually been in. <laughs> Let alone what ones were good ones. I'm checking what list, the like, list of every game he's been in. Was he in Zero Mission? He was in Metroid 1, he was in Zero Mission and Super Metroid, he was in Metroid Prime, and now he's in Metroid Dread. Well, hold on, because I only played Fusion and, uh, uh, what's, what's the one for 3DS? Metroid Samus Returns. Um, so. Oh, okay, If he's I not, see. like, important okay. to oh. the lore, then, you know, I have no, Okay, I have no so here's here. the thing. I was sitting here thinking you were like a Metroid super fan or something, judging by the way you reacted to me saying I'd never played Metroid before. And it turns out you're just... They're just good you're games. You're also not a super fan. I... I'm not a, like a super fan, but I think that the games are really good and you should play at least one of them. Fair. I watch like lore videos about it sometimes to like calm down. Okay, fair. Alright, I take it back. I just, I've... I've have never had a bad experience. Well, that's not true. I don't like Metroid Prime, but that's whatever. Metroid Prime 3 is the best Metroid game. Alright, well, you know, you don't even own a 3DS, so, like, what's your deal? Yes, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> it's literally, like, it's either behind me or in the other room. Play Metroid Samus Returns right now, then, bitch. Since you I don't own it. Since you own it, apparently, according to you. I don't own it. Since, according to you, you do own the game. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Please do. I can't even threaten you. No one can threaten me. It doesn't me. work. It doesn't work. Yeah. You understand. I wish this guy would stop throwing his fingernails and start opening his mouth so I can shoot in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tell me more. I want to shoot in this guy's mouth. I've been having a lot of dreams about acid lately. Not like the psychedelic, but the stuff that like melts your skin. There's got to be an easier way to do this because the aiming is not easy. Not that I want it to be easy, but it's like it's shoot a load in Craig's mouth. Exactly. Yeah. This is what Craigslist is all about. A lot of people I'm don't know that. destroy you. Uh, listen. This is just this is just like a Craig movie. Uh, what 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 a Craig movie? Yeah, like a whole genre of movies just called Craig. Yeah. You've never watched a Craig movie? No. Oh. I can't well, say I have. Maybe try harder then, bitch. <laughs> try harder. I'll try, try harder. harder to watch a Craig movie then. Is it in the Craig? Is, are there any Craig movies in the Criterion collection? It's there's a whole Craig section at Blockbuster. That's not 
I need the Criterion collection. I need a uh, this is a good movie certification from a bunch of white dudes. Yeah. yeah. What's it? So what's the deal with that? Because I have forced myself not to. What if I turn invisible, does that help? No, he still knows I'm there. What's the deal with what? What's the deal with the Criterion Collection? Why should I give a shit about these stupid boys' movie opinions? I have I have no idea. Genuinely, I don't know what the Criterion Collection is. I just I just watch a couple like film critic uh, YouTubes and they mention it sometimes. There's got to be an easier way to do this. Maybe there's like a thing on the wall that I can hang off of. I'm gonna get food real quick. I'll be right Go back. get food, then yeah. you smelly little bitch. What? Go get food then, you smelly little bitch! So mean. Well, now I'm not gonna get food. No, get food right now or else. I'm not gonna get food. You're off the show if you don't get food. <laughs> you um, what? You're off the show if you don't get food. <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me. Oh, wouldn't I? But also, I'm just saying you should be nice to me and then I'll get food. Go get food. I love you, go get food. There we go. See how easy it was? It's so easy. It's always so easy. It's never easy to be nice. What are you talking about? If it was easy to be nice, people would do it. Don't be ridiculous. I do it. I think I'm pretty good at being nice. I'm not nice. Well, you think you're cooler than me because you're able to be nice? Fuck you. I'm, I'm literally a neurodivergent maybe? minor. <laughs> I'm neurodivergent and also a minor. Yeah, kind of fucked up for even you to be talking to me because I'm neurodivergent and a minor. So. <laughs> oh my goodness, freaking gosh darn gracious. What are you supposed to do in this, this, this darn ass fight? This silly ass fucking. They made this for a console that's like infamous for having bad stick drift. How are you supposed to do this, this fight? My god. Yeah, it's be oh my god, that stick drift is such a weird problem because like uh just uh just after uh no wait. Just before I decided to sell my switch, I was starting to get uh stick drift in the left stick. Damn. And I was like, this is a Nintendo product. Mm -hmm. Like you know. Well, then again, I also, my favorite console is the N64, and those controllers are garbage. Mm. They're those not garbage because garbage they're three-prong or the design of them. It's just the stick in the center is just bad. It's a bad stick. Yeah, it's silly. I don't like it. Silly, Bo Billy. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna try hard as fuck. Do the commentary while I try hard as fuck on this. Okay. Do do like Are we are we still fighting Craig? Yeah, can you not see the screen? I do see the screen. I was uh, focusing on a thing I'm doing. Oh, okay. Well give us yeah. like the give us the give us you're like a professional sports commentator. Talk talk this like the you're problem on the radio. is, I don't know anything about Metroid, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be saying. Well, you know, it's pretty simple. You shoot at the guys and they die. I said <laughs> I was going to try hard as fuck, and now you're refusing to support me. I have three health. You're doing good. You're doing... Sorry, I can't turn on my esports brain like that all of a sudden. Oh my god, I have three health. How am I going to do this? Like, I, I, I'm i sorry, I genuinely can't, like, commentate over this because I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm fighting a giant lizard. What do you mean? It's I not... know you're fighting a giant lizard who's throwing your fingernails, uh, throwing his... He's literally throwing his fingernails at you. What? I thought you were just, like, joking. No, yeah. He's legitimately throwing fingernails. What is <laughs> this, this man's problem? throwing fucking fingernails, dog. This man wants to throw fingernails. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? Just, like... Because, like, uh, for those who don't know, I work as a esports commentator every now and again. Yeah, those for, who don't know. <laughs> those members of my e audience that are not also members of your audience. Yeah, but, um... Like... 
I, I just had a crazy thought. Like, what if, uh, in the middle of, like, a drift tandem battle, some dude just, like, threw fingernails out of the window of his car door like it's fucking Mario Kart? <laughs> like it's a spike strip? He's laying down caltrops? Yeah. Yeah. It's just fingernails. That'd be, That'd be fucking hilarious. I mean, I, it wouldn't be beyond the realm of possibility considering there was some guy, uh... Uh, at the last uh, ESDA event uh, at Ebisu, and uh, he was constantly throwing his car into the wall on purpose so that um, uh, so that his teammate would make the point cut for uh, what was it? He would make the point cut for the season finale, the championship round. Cool, cool friends. So I mean, might as well be some Mario Kart shit. There we go. I like how the lighting completely changed for the cutscene. Oh god, is he gonna have a second phase? Uh, you might want to start running, Metroid. Oh god, is there a second phase here? Oh no, we're not going in there, Samus, come on. Oh, come on. No, we don't want to go in there, do we, buddy? No? Okay. Thank God. Oh, gross. This game is so gross. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't clean your belly button lint, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Turns into rubber balls. That's a true story. Robert Munch wrote a whole book about it. He did. That's true. Oh, my God. Hold. By the way, I... Don't, I, I I think I heard about this, but uh, something happened to Robert Munch recently, actually. I can't remember if he... Oh, no. I don't think he passed away. I think he's got dementia. Oh, that's fine. He seems like he'll handle that well. <laughs> so, I, like, yeah, I don't want to be cruel about it, but, like, if anyone is going to have fun with... Not have fun, you know, what I, like, you know, not have, like an incredibly debilitating time with dementia, it's probably gonna be Robert Munch. The guy who wrote not one, but two books about crayons and markers. There. You know. It wouldn't have surprised me if Robert Munch already had dementia. <laughs> Am I thinking, no, I'm I'm not thinking of Shel Silverstein. I was trying, there's only two Canadian children's book authors and there's Shel Silverstein and Robert Munch. I don't know shit about fuck. Shell Silverstein is the scary looking guy. I know about that one. Well, the heat. Okay. Um, who is in <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid. He's also a Canadian children's book author, so there you go. That's gotta be kind of funny, eh? It's to like look up to Shell Silverstein and then to be like on the same level generally. Like, I wouldn't say Diary of a Wimpy Kid is exactly artistry, but it's definitely on a level it's certainly on a specific tier yeah it's on the same it's on the canadian children's book author tier oh <laughs> this game is so busted what the fuck make sure to subscribe to my patreon we have a new tier canadian children's book author if you're a canadian <laughs> children's book author you can get pictures of my toes for absolutely four dollars <laughs> <laughs> Buy pictures of my girlfriend's toes. Yeah, you can buy pictures of my... Do we want to get a picture of my feet on stream real quick? Just no. so we can... <laughs> Listen, okay, chat. Chat, I will leave it up to you. No. Chat, if you want a pic of my feet on stream, just say feet in the chat. No. Uh, and we'll get, a, we'll get a preview. Let's get some pause in the chat, people. No. No we toe. We are not doing this. Why aren't we doing this? Why are you so ob opposed to doing this, conceptually? Do, just don't give away things that you can make people pay for. Well, it's a preview. It's an advertisement. That's not something you do on Twitch.fucking television. Yeah, you do. What are you talking about? You see the... You see some of the ladies on Twitch.tv. Bathing suit stream, hot tub stream. Pull. Pull. Oh, you're literally just supposed to spam at the hole. 
Spam at the hole. Black like your soul. I'd rather die. <laughs> anyway. I'm eating, sorry. Oh, are you enjoying the hole pictures while we're while you're having your nice meal? No. I can't imagine why. Fuck! Yeah, it's totally not viscerally unpleasant. What are you eating? Chicken. Oh, so that's Chicken. pretty much similar to, like, whole. It's made out of, like, flesh and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the first thing I think of when I'm eating chicken is just, mmm, tastes like whole. <laughs> tastes like whole. I've never tasted whole before. Um, so Strix, I'll see you in, I'll see you in four days. <laughs> I'm glad you made the joke, because if you weren't, I was going to. Okay, good. We can taste each other's holes and it'll be great. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I, I know what you're about we're to say, too. We're not perverted, I about swear. To... We're normal. Fucking, you were trying to... You wanted to say one syllable so you could pass it off, like, the second word you weren't about to say is jealous? No. Oh, come on. I know you. I'm... I... Okay, then you also know that we feel like compersion first and foremost, right? Yeah. So, then but I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> it's also, I mean, you don't have to hide from me the fact that you do want to taste this lovely little hole. I'm got. going to actually beat the shit out of you or leave stream. It's okay, that's fine. Wait, what is... I've heard that word before, but I'm not exactly sure what it means. Compersion, compersion is like the good feeling that cucks get, basically. Oh, okay. You don't... <laughs> For two seconds. It's the opposite of jealousy, I think, or something. <sighs> Kinda. Yeah, imagine being polyamorous. Holy shit. Imagine having feelings outside of, like, traditional I'm fucking... I'm polyamorous, act. bitch. What then are you, you talking know what about? feeling is. No, I don't. I, I'm I, fiercely jealous when I'm in polyamorous relationships. And it's not healthy. I'm finding it easier and easier to get to the hole, so this is this is progress. <laughs> You're really making me regret saying that. You said it, bit well, like what did you expect was gonna happen? You were like, oh I'm just gonna say hole and it's gonna be nothing. Yes. Oh, he's got a tummy ache on his hole. <laughs> Please stop. Hey, cool. What's the word? Compersion? Yes, compersion is the word. You can just like stop calling me a cuck, maybe, I feel. Why would I stop doing that? It's so much fun. Hours yeah, of not. entertainment. You're not a cuck, obviously. I'm a cuck, and I'm projecting. <sighs> so what's up? We're still. Uh, this is making for terrible gameplay footage because I'm just like. I'm doing the same basic thing over and over again, so I have nothing to talk about. I'm not like, oh, sick new area. There's just this lizard that everyone's mad at me for not having known previously. <laughs> I don't have. Pri I don't have priors with this lizard. You see, you just said hole again, so this is partially your fault. Like you can't you can't behave, so this is why we have to talk about whole. <laughs> Fun thing about one of our system members. Um They're completely nonverbal. Who? Uh Nobu. Nobu? Yeah, you've not met them. Um Well obviously, because they don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And uh the one of the first things that they did when they split was the whole emoji was brand new. <laughs> There's a hole emoji? <laughs> yeah. What is it like? What the fuck? The hole emoji had just come out at the time. So they had a really fun time <laughs> reckoning with that fact. They were they like. They basically were doing the equivalent of what we're doing now, just saying hole. And they would, ju they would just do that on and off. My god, my E tank's at 8. God, this is hard. This is difficult. Gotta get Samus more E. Gotta get Samus more E. Gotta get get boom boom pow. Gotta get get. <laughs> Gotta get get. I'm. I don't have Tourette's syndrome. 
I don't have Tourette's, but I do, I do can't stop talking sometimes. Sometime? That's fine. Gotta get, get, fuck. I keep getting sometimes into- Sometimes you just gotta hear your own voice, you know? No, it's not even like that. It's just like, remember Black Eyed Peas? Yeah. Yeah, well. I'm secretly Will I Am, I guess. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This is the joke that I was trying to make. Like what? Like I, I don't know. How much would it take for you to believe that? I could show you my like goldfish tank, and you'd be like, "Oh, that's a really interesting secret to keep rattling, rattling." <laughs> <laughs> Rattlin was like so my much. first ass name. That was before I even like went back to Hanratty. Like I was really trying to be transgender. Hanratty was really good. I still am a firm believer of Hanratty. Well, that was the name my dad gave me, so I kind of have to. Oh, okay, that's fair. Oh, these fucking balls in the holes! It's like mini golf. Holy shit! <laughs> Why? Okay, why can't I hit a single shot off on these fucking mini golf balls? Holy moly, I'm already down to 50. Well, now I'm dead. Hey, right, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Owned online. Say what? Craid canceled you on Twitter.com. Who canceled me? Craid. Oh, you know these things happen. I have to share my experiences with Maddie Girl Meat, and then the Maddie Girl Meat has asterisks for vowels. You know, one of those memes. Or like there's slashes in it. That's fun. Hole. There's not even a hole on screen right now. You can't say hole. Yes, there is. Where? On his tummy. Oh, I guess he does have a little belly button, doesn't he? Is there like... I'm about to say this and the answer is super gonna be yes. Is there like a community for like erotic belly button penetration? Yes. Okay. I feel like those guys would be pretty into like moms too. Am I off base with that? Um... Depends on the person. Yeah. Yeah, Craig from HR is just being a real bitch. Craig. This is because I didn't enjoy your snickerdoodles. Yeah. Man, I used to be- uh, Man, I used to be such a fucking little thief. I used to, like, put on bake sales at my workplace, and I was the only person who would, like, bring something. I can't believe I used to, like, sub you know, fucking derive value from capital. What's wrong with me? I think snickerdoodles are good. I used to make uh, this vegan brownie recipe with score bar chunks in it. That sounds so fucking good, holy shit. Yeah. Well, I don't, I'm not gonna have enough health to beat the second phase of this boss fight, so. You know, get fucked, basically. Oh wait, I have this. Can I use this? I don't think so. <sighs> well... I'm gonna hand the controller to my big brother and he's gonna beat this part for me. <laughs> Belly button lactation. I'd rather you not Kate? say that kind of thing Kate? on my stream. Kate? Why? Monka TOS. But for belly button lactation. Kate? Why did you do that? I'm not dead. Technically. Technically. Pure technicality. But I do have the paperwork to prove it, so... That must have been hell. It's fucking so ridiculous. They make you do like a fucking 700 page pamphlet 
700 page binder of fucking bullshit. They were like, wait, your death records show like 20 years ago? Yeah. It's what fucking. The fuck? And then your birthday passes and you have to do more paperwork. And then the anniversary, or not the anniversary, but the day you die passes and there's more paperwork that they send you. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm like, like there's, there's footage of you literally exploding and it's yeah. like yeah it's ridiculous I mean it the whole process really sucks um it's not as lengthy as immigration which I'm happy with but well, that's wild to me yeah yeah literally I think it's because like you can kind of you don't really have to prove refugee status when the place you're leaving is hell you know, you don't have to be like, you know, yeah, nobody really wants to be in hell, basically. Plus, you, you know, what it's really there for is for like, basically accidents for like, uh, demons who come to Earth or, you know. It's not specifically designed for- Motherfucker, why is this so- Make this easier. Oh, and I don't have- Oh, wait! You're not supposed to shoot rockets at it, are you? No, you're supposed to use your fucking charge beam. Okay, I just realized I've been doing this wrong the whole time. Um, so- that's good. Birth certificate turns into a death certificate. It's a whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm really get, glad that like it's becoming more of a thing. Um, especially like now that there's tourist stuff going on in hell, which I think is ridiculous, but whatever. Um, like, can you imagine? It's like going to <laughs> going to Detroit on vacation. Like, why? Um. That was maybe a little weird to say. I don't know. Is it still funny to make fun of Detroit? Yeah. Okay, Sometimes well then. Though. Yeah. Or Montreal, even. Like, why would you ever go to Montreal on vacation? Why would you go to fucking Quebec? Literally. Um. But now there's tourist stuff happening in hell, and so there's a lot more people who are, like, having to fill out those kinds of forms. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's like a whole automated thing now. You can like get a like a token on your passport that says you're allowed to go to hell. That's really ridiculous, to be honest. Too many excess vacation days. Take a goddamn vacation straight to hell. Yeah, they do say goddamn, which is pretty funny. I'm not even trying to dodge anymore. I'm just like, fuck it. I want to kill this dude. Um. Oh wait, no, it is. It is both damage based and based on. Man, how does how do I how are you actually supposed to do this? I think you just use the missiles on his head once you get up. Oh no, it is okay. You can't. You have to like spam it to charge it, which is a little fun. Um. <laughs> You like the oh, see, that is a very large spoiler. Hmm? Like, it's not a spoiler to Raddy, I don't think, because I think Raddy is aware that this is a sequel to fucking... Uh, uh... Fusion, but... What was the spoiler? I just wouldn't look at chat. Oh, no, Actually, I know wait, that no. the X-Parasite is in this. It's in the first cutscene. Yeah, no, some people don't pay attention. <laughs> I pay attention. I've, I've watched a cutscene at least. A lot, okay, I know that the beginning mentions it, OC. I've been yelled at for it before. <laughs> That's why I'm saying it to you, because I don't want you to get yelled at. You're doing the yelling now. This is the five monkeys problem. <laughs> five monkeys problem for those who don't know. There are five monkeys in a cage. There's a pile of bananas. They go for the bananas. They get sprayed with a hose. They slowly replace the five monkeys until uh, there's none of the original monkeys left. The monkeys, despite having never been sprayed with a hose, now have the same reaction uh, to the bananas. 
uh, to anyone going near the bananas. It's like a, yeah, five monkeys experiment, you know, whatever. You get it. Um. Five monkeys. Anyway, how, um, I do, I know you know a certain one, a certain bunny. I know. And I, I just know, wanted to ask, how do you think he's fucking dealing with that? <laughs> Because that feels like if you're, small. yeah, I feel like if you're dealing with the lust layer in general, you're going to get a lot of those unwanted types. Oh yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't know, it's, you know, it's Montreal, right? Like it's, it's, it's <laughs> ridiculous. It's Montreal, that's really all it is. It's Montreal for people who don't want to learn to speak French. That's um, fair. So, you know. It's, uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, fuck, if, you know, if he wants to come talk about it, he's more than welcome. I can text him. I'll see what's up. Alright, cool. Come talk about think... hell, Azazel. I think he might be having some boyfriend time. Oh, that's good. Okay. But I'm uncertain, so I will ask. Oh, come on, keep shooting. Rootin' tootin'. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, come on. Nope. Hell City planning would be interesting because you make walkability bad while also making traffic bad. I've found the way to do that is to just have a lot of verticality and thin streets. Um, I think that on top of that, that I noticed at least specifically while visiting you and visiting Azazel, was um. In Azazel's case, he like just has tried to do a genuinely like okay job considering the architecture around the area, mm -hmm. but like that's the best you can get just because the ground will genuinely go to thwart your efforts sometimes, and that's just something mm -hmm. you have to account for. Yeah. It's not all the time. There are some pockets See, that are like relatively safe from it, but that's yeah, like it. That's one of the things is the prison layer is pretty stable. Um you know, that and then like the support structure around it basically. Like how uh the US military reclassified all of Hiroshima as a military target because it existed Suppose, according to their explanation to support the military, right? Like, you know? It's like that. It's one city based around supporting, like, you know. I mean, realistically, yeah, what is, like, the metaphysically largest prison in all of existence. Um, and so it makes sense that there's, like, a small society built up around it. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty stable, and part of the reason for that is because, like, it's just hard to build a prison on ground that can sometimes disappear. Um... Which, you know... It, it I don't really think about this often, uh, but, like, sometimes I think about Set, and I think, like, Wow, you were literally raised in an environment that was designed by gods to be prison. Yeah. It's fucked, and like, he never talks about his fucking feelings, so I can't be like, hey, I'm sorry that, that, like, you experienced something that wasn't good for your development or normal or anything like that. Like, you deserve better than that, but we never talk about his fucking feelings, so it's like, okay, fuck. It's this whatever. is the nature of dealing with twinks, I found. <laughs> oh my god, don't call my husband a twink. <laughs> um... I will whatever. say that something interesting that, at least on the lust layer, applies is that it tends to be localized around the people who have just done dumb shit, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, just obvious no-nos, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. It might be based around, like, it the might layer be based. in specific. Like, for example... Oh, you're a rapist? Okay, get staked by the fucking earth itself. <laughs> yeah. 
that kind of thing, which, like, that's still very inconvenient for city planning, because suddenly there's a big spike in the road. Yeah, right? Like, if that hits a, a water line or something, that's not helpful. <laughs> you know? Yes, I it's agree just, like, we should why? impale all rapists, but, like, can we do it in... Can we do it somewhere <laughs> like, where it's not gonna for make... Thank this person where it's explicitly inconvenient. Yeah, plus, like, you know... It's like the it's like the equivalent of making them wear, like, this, like, fucking, like, dog that did a punish- that did, like, a bad sign, you know? Because mm -hmm. they're gonna live through it at that point. They're already in hell. Yeah. They just have to kind of deal with it, and they just get to be the center of attention in a bad way that nobody likes. Well, see, this is the thing, too, is if I was impaled on a stake and, and people gave me a lot of attention, I'd really like it. So, like, what are we doing here, guys? <laughs> You're telling me my wildest fantasy is hell for other people? Come on. Yes. Missile time. Please don't hurt me. No! Okay. Oh. What? Uh, Kate just said, I want to learn sewing so that I can make a set cosplay for my goat plushie that I showed in my picture of my coffee. I'm not dead. Send the picture again. I don't remember that one. I get so many pictures in my book. <laughs> um, send me the picture though. I want to look at it. Cause I like goats. I have a stat. I have a pile of goats. Literally named Goat Pile. Um, on my like record stand. Uh, that consists of three goats that sit on top of each other, like the funny hat from Team Fortress Two. Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2. Team I'm just Fortress two. Team Fortress 2. Okay. Team Fortress 2. The thing is about a set cost, you probably just get like regular doll clothes, because set, like set dress is kind of witchy, but not like beyond the pale of. I guess it would normal be normal person. Would it be wizardy now, or like do witches count? Do femboys count as witches? Femboys are witches. Okay. I have never met a femboy who is, like, who is of the occult who is not a witch, specifically. Which, yeah. I feel like, if I've met enough people in my lifetime, and we as a collective have done that, there, that seems like a pretty, you know, common thing at that point. Yeah. Or at least a thread to be followed. I'm glad that I figured out what I'm supposed to do with this, but I'm still gonna die. Yep. Team Fortress 2. I'm gonna beat this lizard man that I've been trying to beat for 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna go smoke a blunt and I'm gonna lie down. And I'm gonna okay. feel bad about myself. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. You literally can't. I'm gonna go. I literally can. I can pet you on the head. <laughs> you can't pet shit. This is the internet. I'm breaking kayfabe right now, fuck. <laughs> I'm not actually a possum. We, what, do you, what do you think, I was a cartoon? No. <laughs> Silly fool. Silly fucking Silly fool. fool. Silly fool. Don't, don't make fun of the way I speak. I'm not. Oh, you totally were. I literally was doing the, like, Metal Gear, like... Okay, I see. Aaron Hansen. Speaking of femboys... No. When's that uh, guy gonna come out, am I right? I hope never. I don't want him. What? If if Aaron Hansen was transgender, you'd say, Go away, we don't want you here. Put him back. Put him back. Put her back, first of all. Please don't misgender Aaron Hansen in my chat. Thank you. You'd say, you'd say, hey, Aaron, go back where you came from, which is, first of all, racist. Second of all, whoa, is he from California? Dude's literally like white and American. What are you talking about? Racist? He's from California, isn't he? I don't know. Person of color brackets Californian. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man, I have to do this multiple times. This game sucks. This is so hard. This game sucks, she says, having the time of her fucking life. 
Now you know why we say it. Oh, I gotta give this man a tummy ache. <laughs> Make him itchy. Irritation time. Oh, I'm never gonna be able to dodge that one. Uh, he'll be fine. Just give him a Pepto. Give him a quick Bismol. Oh, I can I can parry him apparently. Yes. What the fuck? What the, what did I do there? Man, fuck this lizard. <sighs> Would you fuck this lizard? No. Who? Huh? Would you fuck the lizard? Would I fuck the lizard? Yeah. No. <clears throat> Okay, thanks. Craig is sexy. Thank you, Gizro. Glad someone here is not fat phobic. Uh, okay. All right. I'm gonna you drop ever, kick you. You ever, you ever get on the bus? I don't want to tell this story. What? It's about to get on the bus. It's about to tell a story about getting on the bus, and now I just don't want to. Like. You don't have to if you don't want to. Well, I decided not to, so I'm not going to. Okay. It's just I just gotta hammer the fucking button, dude. Oh my god. I'm getting fucking juggled around here like I'm at a fucking juggalo concert. <laughs> Come on, tummy ache. Yeah, still never gonna dodge that. Also, 61 health, so this is not gonna be the run. We shall see. <laughs> Maybe. Nice. Cutscene. Do all the damage you can. Yeah, I know. I'm spamming. God, that was cool. Yeah, pretty cool. I fucking love Santa's. Oh, more damage face. Oh, well. Well, he punches you down eventually. That's good to know. But yeah, that's now a you know lot of damage, though. Yeah. Oh, looks like I'm gonna die. Three shot require repeated button press, why not auto fire? Uh repeated button press is faster than auto fire. At least when I do what? it. Why is that ever the case? Cause they want to reward skilled players. That's inaccessible. Oh, okay. You're probably one of those people who wants all games to have easy mode too, right? I can't tell if this is a bit. This is a bit. I love easy mode okay. games. I, I I just like the barrier to entry should not be that high. We don't need it there anymore. It we don't need people to give themselves fucking carpal tunnel for video games. That's really dumb. I don't know. I like it. it makes me feel. It makes me get like sweaty and intense. It makes me feel like I am Samus Arian. That's a bad name for her. If they named her that, that'd be really bad. I'd be like, Nintendo? What the hell? Nintendo's a Japanese company. I would, well... Let's not talk about the history of Japan. Okay. Hey, listen. I... Pressing Hi. buttons really fast is skill, Kate. Come on. I mean, listen. You're one of the people who lined up to watch me play video games, so, like, what room do you have to criticize me? Listen. That's not how that works. You chose- you chose to watch my Let's Play, which means I'm God to you, basically. <laughs> I'm Superman. There's a big red S on my chest that stands for Super. 
come on. Why can't I never make that jump now? Oh, you know why? It's because I'm not supposed to jump through it. I'm supposed to dodge. Motherfucker. Dodge? Oh, can you crouch under it? Yeah, you can crouch under it. Oh. You can apparently climb the tummy spikes as well when they come out. Oh, really? Or try to get back up to the DPS platform, I assume. Maybe. Yeah, seems like it. That just... That seems like a lot of skill that I don't have. See? See? Anyway. Hello. Hello. I didn't think it was going to take this long to beat the lizard. I thought those sequence ones, yeah, to get back to the platform. Can you reach like the ice platform from it? Is that what I'm hearing? The grapple platform, yeah. Okay. Well, not grapple, you get what I mean. The spider boat. Sticky platform. The sticky icky. I'm about to go reach some sticky icky. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to be able to get this fucking lizard on the first phase. No, I'm not. I imagine if you were a good speedrunner, though, you could get, like, first phase lizard. Let's go. Got well, first oh, phase yeah, lizard. Oh, yeah, there'd be a requirement. Well, no, not, like, just this first phase. It's, like, very clearly a scripted boss, but... I think doing this entire boss quickly, maybe, like, one or two cycling it, would probably be mm -hmm. the wave running so i can climb up okay yeah Go when on. you crouch under the, the first one you can probably just morph fall and then jump up onto it when it like after it fires oh man that sounds like a lot of effort though sounds like a lot of coordination that i simply don't have i've seen you press down in a thanks babe <laughs> You can press two buttons. Oh, I see what you're... Sp okay. Now I get it. I get it, I get oh. it. That was I close. See. I see. I think you're supposed to jump up before them and let them, like, impale the wall under you. That's probably the safest way to do it. Well, we have this now. Yeah, it's it's the same carpal tunnel shit. I don't really understand either. Like, you're a child, please don't destroy your wrist. Yeah, technically this is a toy for children. Nice. Thank you. I mean, now that I know it's coming, it's not that hard. Get your damage in, drop down before he smacks you. Oh. I did that in the reverse order. Yep, that's how you do it. Oh, why didn't that give me the fun cutscene? Because uh, you already did it once. So oh, you, you only get to do it once? Now. Yeah. Dang. You probably get to do it again when you kill him, to be fair. Yeah, strats. Fuck yes. Damn it. Damn, I gotta have a shower. I'm so greasy. Yo, I'm about to fuck this turtle up. I'm greasy. I'm, I gotta have hey, all the it. grease on my hot dog. I gotta have the greasiest hot dog. A bullshit artist. I did it. Good job. Oh, wait, is there what more? The fuck? Is he burning he in the lava? Yeah, he's like dying, dying right now. Damn. 
Damn, uh, Samus really just said and like juke that. What the fuck? Ma'am? Save room. <gasps> Special ball, ball, room. Ball, 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 ball. Neat, 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 neat. What do we get? Do, 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 do. What is this one? Diffusion beam required. God, my hands smell like masturbating because I've been so sweaty around this controller. Mm. Oh, it lets you... Hot. Explode. Okay, well, don't say that. Neat wall. Neat wall. <laughs> yeah, I know about the meat wall. I've seen it. Neat wall. No? Meat wall. I've already been... Down. I'm very worried about that becoming just like a stim for us. Meat if I'm being wall. honest. Wall, meat wall. Meat wall. It's it's really fun to say actually. Nope. So I guess I'm teleporting. There's oh. more stuff. Yeah, I know. <gasps> that's a secret. That's not fa that's fake. That that hole is fake. That hole is fake. That hole is not one of ours. Come on. That hole isn't fake, what the fuck? That's so obvious. Why can't it be fake? I'm upset. I think it's just a ledge for you to grab on. I think that if it is if it is real, it doesn't accept the like... I think that if it's real... It's sort of in then... denial. It's like in the closet, it's an egg. I'm gonna... Just gonna try and say morph suit bomb literally one of those times. Oh, you know, maybe. Well, it doesn't seem like I can get, actually get up this way. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, but you know what? I can't. You can go through lava. Yeah, but not without dying, and I don't have that much help. We'll find out. Okay. Nope. And I can't jump either! Oh, fuck, I forgot about the no jumping. Yeah, that's my bad. Stinky. Stinky drone. I'm not smart. Smelly drone. You don't know what? anything. Smelly drone. <laughs> what do I smell like if, you're, if I'm so smelly? Probably like aluminum foil. What? It's a gotcha puzzle. I don't know what that means. Like a gotcha game? Like gotcha girls? Like World of Tanks 2? Sequel to World of Tanks? What's your favorite World of Tanks sequel? Mine's World of Tanks 2. Mine is World of Tanks. Okay. Uh, gotta I'm think of what- you just obtained instead of what you expect. <gasps> okay, it's not that. Nope, I figured it out. I figured out the puzzle. What did you figure out? Hold on, watch this. Fucker. The jumping is pretty precise, though, is the thing. Not like precise, precise, see, but that's gonna. Fuck. Oh, there's a meat wall. Yeah. I didn't see the meat wall. That's what I was about to say. I'm sorry I missed the meat wall. Don't go through the lava. Don't go through the lava. It's not good for you. Alright, I guess we're teleporting now. <sighs> yeah, sure, let's teleport to this part of Darien. Dayron Arius. Purple. Purple teleport. I said we were gonna beat the lizard finish for the night, but I have to find a safe pot, a safe, a safe place first. Can I call you after stream? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be in like a super self harmy mood, but if you want to deal with that, then that's fine. Well, I love you, so that's <laughs> sick. Hope you can 
Do you run Aerius Magazine? No. No, I don't want to. Go back! No, why does it show me all that before giving me the option to leave? Okay, cool, now we can like... Oh, this was where that robot punched the door earlier. Yeah. Like an angry teenager. Oh, I hate you, mom, punch punch, you know? Hey. Free. Do a jump. Nope. It's not. You're not supposed to jump it. Because you can't jump out of lava, remember? You can't hang off the ledge here? I don't know if the ledge will give you. Nope. No, yeah, you can't jump backwards off the ledge. Huh. Well, we'll come get that later. Right now, I'm looking for a save point. Seems like one probably coming up pretty soon, though. Hey, there's yep. Adam. Does Adam count as a save point? Yes, he gives you a save point after talking to him. Uploading data. Uploading data. Oh, that was a short one. Save my progress? Yes. Cool. Thank you for coming to play Metroid with me, everybody. Yeah. It's time to end the stream. Goodbye. <laughs>